All right, good evening and welcome to Friday Harbor High School Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. I am Mike Martin. With me is John Volk with the play-by-play. -play. Our studio engineer is Ken Norris. Before we get into our Banner Bank pregame show, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. And make sure that you uh, support our sponsors. They make these uh, games possible so that you don't have to join some uh, nefarious network and send all your money to some, uh, somebody, somebody else. else. We, we do these for you, and John, we've been doing this for 10 years. You've been doing it with us for... I was going to say, I've been doing it for 10 years. Uh, but Tiny TV's been around now itself for, I guess, three years, Tiny Radio before yeah. that. But, um, you know, thank you for, for coming out. You get to see your kid play. That's the bonus part. <laughs> From a pretty good uh, perch up here, up above. Yeah, that's a nice spot. I like this one. Brand new Kingsfield. Wolverines are getting set to take on Seton Catholic High School. Of Vancouver, Washington. Yes, and uh, they look sharp in their uniforms. Friday Harbor looks sharp. I like these home uniforms. You can read the jerseys for once. Friday Harbor is away, but they are scheduled as a home, home team, team yep. because they wanted it in a neutral field because Friday Harbor didn't want to go down to Vancouver. Yeah, they didn't want to come They didn't want to go to Friday Harbor. <laughs> so they said, we'll meet you at Kings. Yep. So, well, this um, is a good one to pick. Like like you said, this is a new field, and it is nice. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. Um, uh, the big old K out there in the middle of it, new scoreboard, and you got the watchful night up on That's the building cool. behind us. That's pretty cool. I was thinking that something like that, if we get a new one in Friday Harbor, we'll have to come up with some kind of like – Big old Wolverine statue up hey, there. Yeah, a Wolverine they can run like, out of. Kind of like, uh, is that Pitt that has? No, not Pitt, uh, Penn State. Don't they have one of those or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, John, last time uh, the Wolverines, uh, wait, can you, we'll just get the captains real quick for Friday. Yeah, so uh, captains Dylan Roberson, Connor Haynes, and Jack Mason. I see four out there. That was three. No, it's three arms. The white one's the oh. home team. <laughs> <laughs> I said away game. I'm looking at the white. Friday Harbor's the home team. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, last time we talked about uh, the rebuild, um, you know, where, where Brock is in it. Yeah. They, they go out and they don't have their best game uh, against Granite, Granite Falls. Falls yeah. Okay. And that was a lot of mistakes in that game. Yeah. yeah but they made up for it. Um, well, actually, I want to go, go back to that game a little bit. In, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the fourth quarter against Granite Falls. Yeah. They are still chasing down a ball they were. carrier. They, they did not. The they didn't quit on the game. Yes. They played to the end. So that, for me, is an important point to talk about where they are in the rebuild because the next week they again play four quarters, they don't turn over the ball, and they score 63. Yeah. So my question to you is where does that represent to you where they are mentally? Well, I think mentally... They, that was that, I think that was the key to Granite Falls is they did not give up on the game. They didn't play to the very end, and that's something the coach always wants to see when you're in that situation. So when you're going to the Connor, it's a rivalry game, and you're looking at it, and you get out there, and you realize that team maybe isn't as good as they have been in the past. But since they're your rival, you take it to them anyway. And they had a pretty solid game, I think, all around. Um, didn't make mistakes in that game. A lot of the younger guys got some more play time, which is good because you know at that point we only had 18, I think, last week. Now we've got some kids show up, the roster's getting bigger, so um, it helps to have a game like Granite Falls where you hopefully learn something and keep playing, and then a solid win like LaConnor helps also the young guys go, okay, so this is how it's supposed to be. You know, we run the ball, we play hard defense, we win games. So, so um, I, I think that if we were looking at mile markers on on Brock's road to building a champion. I think we're pretty still on the low numbers there. I think. I mean, I mean we, we got, got some. T I think Granite Falls was. So that's, that's the problem. problem. When you when you look at your mileage and where you're at on a team, right? You, you want to have some challenges. challenges. And, and the challenges, challenges they face in Granite Falls is themselves, right? They they, they, they hurt, hurt themselves all those turnovers. So, so that's a hard game to measure of how well you're doing when you cause your own problems. 
and, and then, then South, South, South Whitby was probably a little better measure, even though it was the first game, because, because it was a little more evenly matched, where it could have gone either way, depending on what how the plays went. Oh, here's the pledge. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then you get to the Connor game, where you do win, you dominate, but you realize the team you're playing really isn't that good. So there's not a lot of lessons to take from a game like that because. Except that they played four quarters. They did, they did play four quarters. Every single player. Because in order to put 63, you're, you're not, not doing 63, 63 in the first quarter. quarter. Right. But, but then, then to pitch a shutout, that also shows that they were mentally, and that's right. the, the main they're, thing they're, that I, I'm really focusing yeah, on. Yeah, and, and the mental thing I agree with, because it was the opposite for Connor, because by the, I got word from the players, by the third quarter, those guys were done. They wanted to go. I mean, they were out of the game in the third quarter. So, and that's what I liked about Friday Harbors, they didn't check out. Right. They kept playing, they kept running their plays. They they're down 25 nothing. nothing. Yeah. And, and they're, they're still. still right. And I think that that's, that's a key mental difference between those two games. games. If you flip how LeConnor yeah. looked and how Freddie yeah. Harper looked, LeConnor guys, Conor guys after, after those first two quarters were done, where our guys kept playing and they kept going. It looks like the Wolverines were actually, well, maybe Seaton. Probably won the toss. They like to see more. The Wolverines uh, won the toss and deferred right. right to the second half. Sure. But the, the Wolverines will be kicking off going from our left to our slow. I'm looking out there seeing Friday Harbor because of the colors. Yeah, you got to Friday Harbor will receive the kickoff here. And let's, let's, let's get, get the camera, camera dialed up. So I got word we're a little echoey on, online. It's there. Can you move behind? John, we'll, we'll get, get to, to our Farmers, Farmers Insurance with Hemcon Cotton Agency keys, keys to the game here in a minute. minute. All right, here comes the kickoff. It's a little squibber right up the middle. It is fallen on by, I can't see their number. Uh, by 84. And I'm not, we don't have a roster up here, so that's a big guess for me. I'm, I'm going to guess it's one of the newer kids on the team. They have had several kids show up that did not start the season with the Wolverines uh, that are working on eligibility, and some have reached that. So Wolverines come out of their huddle, coming into the line in their standard formation we've grown used to over all the years here since Brock took over. This is his offense he loves to run. Wolverines start on their own 40-yard line. Dylan Roberson in for the snap. Seton Catholic pressuring the middle. Here's the snap. Hand off to Connor Haynes for a gain of, I want to say, three yards. It'll be second and seven on the 43 of Friday Harbor. A decent chunk there, get three, uh, kind of see what the defense is doing. I apologize for the camera, but we got the sun coming in directly above <laughs> us. I'll see if I can shield it. It's got a ways bit. to go for that tree, too. Yeah. All right, so the Wolverines to the line. Dylan Roberson for the snap. No motion that time. Hand off to Connor Haynes to the right side. It's like he's going to break through. He's going down to, looks like, almost the Seton 40, I'm sorry, 38. Good solid run down the right side, little outside run there. Yeah, that was a, a nice-looking run, just an off tackle. Make somebody, make the first guy miss, yeah. get to the second level. Well, it was a pretty solid-sized hole over there, too. Yeah. I know there were some discussions of that, of, of guys stepping out and not taking the hole. So we'll see if that happens a little more in this game, too. Uh, Dylan Roberson up for the snap. Wolverines in eye formation. There's the handoff to Chris Gustafson right up the cut. Looks like he gets about four yards there, so they're going to mark it on the 33. And, and if you if you let ground and pound, uh, you're going to like this Wolverine offense. We'd like to welcome all of our viewers down in Vancouver who are tuning in. It's kind of a bit of a trek through Seattle traffic, so I know a lot of you had to stay home. Uh, might be a little bit of a one-sided broadcast because we are a Friday Harbor Station. And we don't have a roster. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the snap, handoff to Connor Haynes on the right side. A little inside, maybe got a yard. Looks like they're going to spot it at the 36 of Seat Catholic. That'll bring up third down and looks like one, two, three. The Wolverines in the huddle. Coming up to the line, Dylan Roberson's coming in. I formation. 
Hand in motion. No, they haven't motioned yet. Now in motion again. So handoff again to Connor. Oh, it was a bootleg, and there is no. Well, there was a player in the area. The play got blown up, I think, a little before uh, Dylan was ready to throw that. Number 10 for, uh, is that number 10? Can't see his number. Again, we don't have the rosters, and there's some, been some number changes. Anyway, there was a Freddie Harbor player in the area, but the play had not developed yet. Uh, if he had maybe one more second, it was wide open for a touchdown, it looked like to me. Yeah, so we're brings fourth, up fourth, fourth and three. three. Wolverines are not known to punt. <laughs> especially, especially this close right here, yeah. yeah. So here we go, I formation again, still no motion. There's the toss to Connor Haynes. He's got a blocker. It's Chris Gustafson leading the way. Right down the sideline, score. Wolverines, Connor Haynes with the touchdown. 31-yard run. 31-yard run, and Gustafson, you, you, on fourth down, you got to contain uh, for, for the defense, and he just got outside, and they were expecting something up the middle, clearly. Yeah, they stacked the box. There was nobody within 15 yards when he got to the end zone except for his own blocker. Well, and that and the wide receiver was out there, too. There's still nobody around. So it looks like the uh, Wolverines are going to kick here for the extra point. That is Victor. I know his number, at least. Back to kick. Kick is up, and it looks like it's good. He sends that. So there you go, a quick touchdown by the Wolverines, seven nothing, with uh, 9:36 left in the first. A uh, six-play drive, 60 yards, 31-yard score by Chris Gustafson. Wolverines take a seven nothing lead. And John, uh, is that a drive that you think was scripted? I don't think it was scripted, but I'm really curious about um, the lack of motion. Um, that's that's a, a huge part of this. How this offense works is the wing back in motion. And uh, I really didn't see that in any of those plays. And that's usually a standard for this as a diversion item. So I thought that was a little odd. But maybe they're trying something new. Because I guess if you motion every single time, other teams start to pick up on that. Wolverines will be kicking off. Wolverines are going from our right to our left. Where it says program, it doesn't say anything. All right, the Wolverines are setting up the kick. It's uh, Victor, I think it's Velasquez is his last name. I'm going to just make a guess on that. I can't 100% remember, but I think that's it. I think the officials are happy. Here we go. Nice little little end over end ball down the middle. It gets over the second line of defenders. Right down there is 21, which I really have a hard time remembering who that was. I think that's Cody. That's Cody Anderson. Sorry, that is Cody Anderson, number 21. And that's a little bit of a development that kickoff right there because uh, he put it put a little bit of end over end. A lot of and, end over end. <laughs> and they're able to get down there and lock him down inside the 30. And it seems like uh, for the first three games of the season, a lot of drives are starting way at the wrong end. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I don't know if it's All right, so here comes Seton Catholic. They're in a pistol formation with two wide receivers on both sides. Shotgun snap. Here is the pet, little quick pass to the far side of the field to the outside wide receiver. Looks like he got about, I want to say four or five yards, maybe four. They're going to mark it at four yards. So second down and s now they're going to give him five. Four and a half? I don't know. We'll call it five. Second and five. And last game, um, uh, uh, Seaton gave up 72 points, so we got a, I believe. A three, three receiver bunch on the near side and one to the far side. There's, that looked like almost a false start there. Hand off to the running back. He's coming over on the our side here. They're pursuing him to the edge. Kind of broke the corner there. So we got a, almost a late hit out of bounds. Yep, they're going to call a late hit out of bounds. That's going to add 15, add 15 to, 15 to the that. End. They got up to the 50. They're going to attack on another 15 here. So that's going to be on the 35 of Freddie Harbor. And the rest will discuss this. There's not a whole lot to discuss. No. He was seven yards out of bounds. Um, I don't know if they're going to take the spot from over here or where he went out of bounds. Oh, uh, I think this is where he goes out of bounds, and then they'll add the 15. 
Yep, just like that. Attacking on to the end of the run. So there we go. It's going to be first down on the Wolverine 35. Um, a lot of lost containment on that edge there. Yeah. A little bit of a suck in. So that happens when that happens on the outside. If you can't contain that corner, once the back gets around the edge, it makes it a lot harder to tackle them. So Seton Catholic's here is first down on the Wolverine 35. They are in uh, trips trips left, single on the right. Still the pistol formation. He's running left to the screen. Forces him back to the middle, and they make a shoestring tackle there. That was number 77, and he got him on the, I want to say the 20, what is that, 23? First down for uh, Seton Catholic. And yeah, third play of the drive, and they're uh, almost into the Wolverines' red zone, aided by, uh, actually fourth play, um, aided by a personal foul on the Wolverines. So we're trips right, single receiver to the left. Here's the snap, quick fake handoff, quarterback's rolling right, passes toward the end zone. Oh, look at that catch, wow. I think they could call that a touchdown right in the core of the end zone on two Wolverine defenders. Wow. Put that right in the breadbasket, as they say. Yeah, and that's the guy that I was asking you if you knew his name. <laughs> Which I uh, don't. <laughs> Friday Harbor now knows his name, and they know his number. Um, I saw him uh, going up and getting balls like that all through warm-ups. Uh, Good-looking player right here. Uh, extra point coming up. Uh, five plays. Uh, what's that? 75 yards? Yeah, it's a 75-yard drive. So they're coming up. I think it looks like they're going to go for two. I don't see a kicker. So that's it. They're running trips right, wide receiver left, uh, on a single back formation instead of pistol with a quarterback under center. There's the handoff. Oh, it's a pitch to the right, and the Wolverines stop him for no extra point. That was number 10 who I quite honestly don't know who that is. And Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center by Banner Bank, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, BladeRestoration.com, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. And is this going to be a, a punch, counter punch type of game? Who we'll has the ball last? I, I think we, we gotta, we'll gotta need a little more of this quarter to figure it out. Right now it's 7-6 with eight minutes left in the first. I don't know if you saw that UCLA-Fresno State game. I missed it. I wanted to watch that one, too. Uh, it's it's on. You can catch that. Can watch the replay? Oh, yeah. you can watch it on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, that if you could have told me that it was going to come down to who touched the ball last, um, except for the, I guess, UCLA did have well, the ball last. But I anyway, thought... it was a high-scoring affair, and we're already uh, four minutes into the game. Both teams have scored here. Seton Catholic's ready for the kickoff. The officials are ready. Here we go. Another little squib kick to the second line. It's going back to the third line, and that is uh, Jackson Waldering picking the ball up. Quick tackle by Seton Catholic. Got out to the Wolverine 36. No horse collar on that. Mm, are we gonna, yeah, they're going to mark it on the 36. All right, so first and 10 for the Wolverines on their own 36-yard line. Yeah, you issue that, that possession issue. I thought that was what was going to happen in that KC Baltimore game, too. Like, oh. Casey's got it. This is over. But that doesn't always work out that way. All right, so the Wolverines are up to the ball. I formation with a wing back. Uh, still no, there's the motion this time. Looks like uh, Pierce Klein in motion. Hand off to Connor Haynes. Kind of up the gut there. Maybe the B gap, maybe the A gap. Uh, let's see, you got one, two yards to gain on that play. Now they're going to spot it like one and a half. So I'm just going to say one yard. So it's going to be second and nine. Well, Wolverines right to the ball, no huddle. Here it comes again. That went to Chris Gustafson that time, right up the middle. He gets, uh, I think, maybe four. We're up to the 40. Wolverine now I'm going to say three yards. Right on top of the ball after the. the there we go. We're not even going to huddle. We're just going to run. This looks more like a scripted. No motion again. And it's a handoff to Connor Haynes. Oh, he trips, goes down on the. 
Wolverine 38 loses a couple yards, so now we're looking at fourth and a bunch. So fourth and eight. Now we'll see if we see a punt, but we're kind of close to the middle of the field, so we're going to have a little timeout here, I think. Um, that old turf monster will get you every single time. Looks like Wolverines took the timeout. We've got uh, seven minutes, two seconds left in the first. And every now and then my finger is going to come into your screen. <laughs> Shade and lens. Um, <laughs> it's, it's like I'm taking pictures when I was a kid. I was always, uh, my, the, the pinky was always kind yep, of covered. There was. Hey, it's his pinky again. <laughs> but I'm doing this because if I go like this and I take my hand off, yeah, it's, it's, all it's, washed it's, out. it's washed out. Yeah. So I'm trying to block out the, the sun. So for those of you, uh, this is my pinky. So And, and uh, I'm going to be quite honest, the way the sun's moving across the sky. It's going to be brutal. I think it's going to be like this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's going straight down next to that tree. Yeah. All right. Wolverines on a timeout. Uh, John, the keys to the game, um, I wanted to get to those real quick. Yeah. Um, establish a ground game, get pressure on the quarterback, and win their turnover battle. That well, they did, the, they did the first those part. Those are our Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, Kayla's keys to the game. Our, they did the first part in the first drive, so we got to see if they can keep it up in the second here. So here are the Wolverines up to the ball. Dylan Roberson for the snap. Oh, a little fake snap. There it goes Klein in motion. Hand off to Gustafson right up the gut and hit right away by number four of Seton Catholic. So there's the turnover on downs for the Wolverines. Looks like they're going to mark it on the Wolverines 43. And we talked about winning the turnover battle, and uh, I think that uh, maybe win the field position battle as well. Yeah, well, see, and here's here's the my thought on fourth down in this situation. I mean, I'd almost rather pass it and think of it as a pseudo punt. So when it gets the interception, then to, I don't know. This is my preference on that play. So here's Seton Catholic. They got trips to the left, single man to the right at the pistol formation. A little false start there. They didn't call again. Uh, right up the gut. He got tackled by Jeffrey Volk on the 38. Looks like the 38. Jeffrey Volk's stitched. <laughs> stitched up jersey. That one's not the bad one. <laughs> the white one's the torn up one. All right, so that was a gain of five. One, two, three. This actually looks like six. A gain of six for, I don't know. They say I, it's a second and seven on the board, but that's not second and seven. Yeah, it, it, where the down <laughs> markers is pretty much between the. Yeah, so I think this goes second and five. So we're trips left, single receiver to the right, pistol formation again. Here's the snap, and it's a handoff again, right? The same play. This one got stopped sooner. Got a little more yardage with his keeping his feet moving. I think he got to just to the 31, it looks like. No, I'm sorry, 36. 6-0. So second. Just under just under six minutes in the first quarter. It's going to be second and three for Seton Catholic. Let's see if they razzle-dazzle here and go to a pass play. Wolverine scored on their first, first possession, turned it over on downs on their second. Kings is driving right now. Uh, trips right, single receiver to the left, and the pistol again with everybody swapped. So it's a mirror image of the last play. Hand off to the running back right up the middle and kind of got the tackle and it slipped out of there. Uh, our middle linebacker was in excellent position to make the tackle at the line of scrimmage, but he missed. And that's a first down for Seton Catholic. It's like they're down to the Wolverine 26. And this is a, a chance for the Wolverine defense to bend but not break. That's what we've known exactly it. them for years. Trips right, single receiver to the left again, the pistol formation. I bet they hand off inside. Oh, but it's going for pass. He's rolling out right. He's looking. Got number four open, and he breaks the tackle. Breaks another tackle. Gets tackled on the two gonna by uh, Connor Haynes. They're going to mark him down at down the, on the one. one. Get a little slide forward, I guess. That's not quite how it works, but whatever. <laughs> so it's uh, first and goal on the one for Seton Catholic. Got the AF lock on. Uh oh. All right, he's up to, they're up to the ball. They got trips left, single receiver to the right, pistol formation. Here's the snap. Oh, it's quarterback keeper. He's going all the way. Jeffrey Volk misses the tackle and in for the touchdown. Or next, that was a touchdown. 
That's a five play drive started on the Wolverine 39. So a 39 yard drive in four plays and just over three minutes. No penalties that time either. I may have seen a little bit of motion a couple uh, of times. Twice, I saw motion twice. <laughs> yeah. But we weren't calling those. All right, so they're gonna go for their, looks like they're going for two. They're up to the line, so we've got uh, trips far to the right with a single receiver to the left. Pistol formation again with the running back on the right side. Here's a snap, he's looking back to pass. He's gonna run it, he's gonna throw it, and incomplete. So we're up to Seton Catholic 12, Freddie Harbor 7 with 4.42 left in the first. That's a good looking scoreboard out there. Um, Wolverines nice. need to take advantage of uh, of Seton chasing points right now off of that miss missed uh, two point conversion and another one. Yep. Um, Wolverines now only have kept it to a two or to a single score game. So, like to see the Wolverines uh, be able to not chase points, take the points on those extra points. Wolverines look like they have a kicker in. What's it? Victor. Victor. I think it's Victor Velasquez. Vic I'm, 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 I'm thinking that's his last name. I'm not 100% sure. But. I think I think that's what I remember as well. I uh, apologize for not having a roster. Um, we might check here in a few minutes, see if we can get one online. Um, we might even check on where this is being streamed. If somebody can link us to the rosters, that would be great. If you're in um, down in Vancouver. Love it if you could get us that posted right, in. Looks, looks like the referees are ready. And here comes the kick. I'm going to guess it's a little squibber again. Done that three times now. Yep, a little squibber again. Oh, he's got it. Oh, no, Tate Geyser's on it. That's number 77. I just remembered who that was. <laughs> uh, that Tate Geyser on the hands, gang. Yep. Um, you know, and he was a running back there for a little while. Tate? No, oh, he's of, always played. Oh line. no, it was. He's uh, been lineman okay, his whole life. Okay, the, the geysers. <laughs> I mean, those corn-fed kids. Yeah. The you know big running backs, but now the the final one through the pipeline is a, a, a lineman. So first down for the Wolverines in their own forty-three. It's like uh, Seton Catholic stacking the box just a hair there. Here's a uh, Klein in motion. Here's a snap, hand off to Connor Haynes right up the middle gets. Oh, well, I'll say three yards there. It's going to be second and seven on the Wolverine 46. Going to give him forward progress to the 46. Uh, I, yeah, I've seen about where he was. I saw a butt cheek go down at the, at the oh, 45. On the 45? You're gonna, <laughs> well, where was the ball, Mike? Come on. It's where the ball is. Um, uh, we'll All right, so here's the Wolverines up for the snap. No motion. We're going to keep it still here. So toss to uh, Connor. Gets through a little hole. Loses two yards. Loses two on the play. A little lack of blocking on this side. It was a little soft there. You got a number 99. He, he looks like he's all of uh, six foot and about 280. So we're third and eight on the uh, Wolverine, just under the 45, just the nose on the line. Comes the Wolverines to the ball. There's Klein in motion, hand off to Connor. Connor Haynes for, we got two back on that play. So now we are third and six on the 47. Isn't it, is it fourth? I'm sorry, fourth and six, okay. sorry. Fourth and six on the 47. They hadn't flipped the marker yet. So I'm assuming the Wolverines are gonna go for it again since they went on lesser field position. Don Roberson in with the play. Got a long field the other way. I'd like to see a little, uh, some sweep to the right here. Uh-oh. It's a Philly special here. We're going to punt. Dylan's out here on the gunner position for the punt. There's the punt. And semi-decent. Lands about the 25. No coverage on that side of the field, though. He's got a long run back with nobody tackling. So we make a tackle on the uh, Seton Catholic 41, and I can't see who that was. He went right off the field. It was 53, I think. That helps at all. If anybody's got a roster at home, they can look him up. 
So Seton Catholic, first and 10 on their 41. We've got uh, two minutes and 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Seven nothing, excuse me, 12-7. 12 12-7. 7. 12 7. Seton on top. All right, here Friday they come Robert. again. They're at trips right with a further, with a bigger set. They're way over here toward us with a single receiver on the far side. Pistol formation with a running back on his left. Low snap, quick pass. So it's kind of a screen pass here to number four. And he gets through three Wolverines. Stiff arms another. And Connor Haynes comes over and makes the tackle. Does not tackle him out of bounds this time. So he does not. Get Got away sports. with a hold way back here. Yeah, on I saw the that one too. So Seton Catholic gets a first down on the Wolverines 25. Long huddle. You know, serious discussion about this play here. Uh, All right, so they come out. Uh, looks like trips right again with a single receiver to the left. Uh, running back on the left side in the pistol. Here's the snap. He's rolling back, looks to pass. The screen's taken away. He's still looking to pass. Makes it around the outside corner. And Connor Haynes with the tackle. On the Wolverines 21, which looks really close to the first down. We'll see where they spot. No, this official has it at 22. That official has it at 21. <laughs> One of them was trying to give him a first down. And looks like we moved it back a little bit to the 22, so it's going to be second down and, well, I want to say two yards to go. Haynes up ended him. Yeah, uh, was, he got him, got him over the top there. Yeah, the play was going great, and the corner containment broke down again. Hardest thing to do is uh, maintain that edge. When so when they flip the script here, we got trips left, the single receiver to the right, and the running back on the right. Here's a quick handoff to him. Two Wolverines fall over each other, and he makes it up to about the three-yard line. That's some good, tough running right there. Yeah. So that's going to be first and goal on the three, it looks like. And are they the Cougars? Is that what I'm hearing? You know, I honestly, I think they are the Cougars. I think I looked on their website. So first and goal. Uh, let's see, we're going to run trips right, single receiver to the left, uh, running back on the left in the pistol. Clock's running here. Here's the snap, handoff right in the in inside run. Eludes the first tackle and makes it in for the touchdown. Looks like, uh, who was up there for the touch? Oh, it's like Tate, Tate Geyser had the tackle in the end zone. Little, doesn't quite count though, does it, once you have the touchdown. <laughs> so a touchdown for uh, Seton Catholic. That gets them 18. Again, it looks like they're going to go for two. I'm not sure they have a kicker, especially since they're squib kicking all the kickoffs. Kind of was plays to that theory. Wolverines have held on the two previous two-point conversions. Yeah, so we're running trips right, single receiver to the left. Uh, running back's on the left side for the pistol. Here's a snap, inside handoff, and he is stuffed. So failed two-point conversion again for Seton Catholic. That makes it 18 to seven with 41 seconds left in the first quarter. That's six points that, that Seton has left on the field. Or three if you're kicking, but yeah. Either either way, I, I like um, <laughs> I, I like to think a, that a maximum of six. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, it could be uh, right now. It could be twenty four easily to seven. Yes. Uh, Wolverine Sports on Friday. Harper Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full service building supply center. By Banner Bank, Blade Restoration, Purple and Gold Booster Club. Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. And John, uh, Wolverines have dug themselves a bit of a hole, uh, lost a field position battle on a couple of those. Yeah. Um, we'll see if the Wolverines can put together a drive here. They have um, gone three and out their, their last two drives. 
Yeah, and it's you know it's it's the inside running and and Seton Catholic seems to have shut that down. It did well in the first drive, but the really the play that got him a lot of yardage was the outside run. So I wonder if we'll see maybe a little more of that on this drive. So like a Seton Catholic's ready to kick. They've got the whistle. Here comes the kick, and it's again it's a little nubber, and it goes to uh, let's say Graham, and I cannot remember Graham's last name. He's going to give out to the forty-one yard line. Wolverines trail 18-7, 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Wolverines are here at um, Woolsley Stadium. Stadium. There you go, Woolsley Stadium. Here in uh, at Knights High School. Is it Kings High School? Kings High School. The Knights. The Kings Knights. Yes, there you go, the Kings Knights. All right, uh, so here comes the Wolverines to the ball. Got a... Yeah, they're, they're stacking the box again on pretty hard. Uh, Wiley McCutcheon's in at the wingback position now. He's in motion. Oh, no, it's not. It's Connor Haynes at the wingback. He's in motion. Here's the snap, and it's a toss to Wiley McCutcheon on the right. Going behind Chris Gustafson. He's got a little bit of a block. He's out to the first down. Still going. Looks like he got to the Seton Catholic. Oh, ooh, they're marking it on the 45. I thought he went on a little short. Yeah, he went out before that. So we're going to be marking him on the 49, it looks like. He shucked one of those blockers like an oyster. He did, but you know. Excuse me, <laughs> one of the tacklers. You need to stay right behind a back like Chris Gustafson and don't feel like he has to turn around and see where you went. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a play where you stick on his butt. <laughs> All right, so the Wolverines are up to the line. First and 10 on the Seton Catholic 49. It's Connor Haynes in motion. Here's the snap. Fake toss. Dylan was going to pass, but he gets sacked by number 53 for Seton Catholic. And that is going to move the ball back to the Wolverines' 44-yard line. They were into Cougar territory. Um, they loss of, well, they're going to mark it on the, third, on the 45, so loss of five yards. Six yards? Six yards. They're going to say his forward progress was stopped at the 45. Yep. So we're looking at uh, second and 16. And that's the end of the quarter. And the Wolverines at the end of the first quarter, they trail Seton Catholic 18-7. to We are live at Kings High School at Woolsey Stadium. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center by Banner Bank, BladeRestoration.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, American Legion, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Pacific Rim Insulation, Miller Drywall, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Lemon Computers. And... Uh, uh, we can compute that the Wolverines. <laughs> we talked about uh, needing to wanting to establish a ground game, right. and uh, the Wolverines on two uh, apparent pass attempts they've get, uh, been thrown for big losses. Yeah, well, and, and like I said, the outside run—that's that run they had with Wiley McCutcheon that was a 12, 13 yarder gain. So I'm thinking maybe that might be what we see a little bit more of. Um, We'll see, because like I said, um, Seton Catholic stacking the box pretty hard. I mean, all the guys are between their between their end linemen. They've only got uh, the corners outside of the end linemen. No, not even outside the end linemen. Let me see where they got set up here. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. And Kings is daring the Wolverines to throw the ball. Right. And when they have, it hasn't, it hasn't worked well. But you also the advantage. I mean, again, the stacking the box it does leave the edges a little more available to run at, and I think that's maybe what we might see a little more of. So we still have Connor Haynes at the wing, uh, Wiley McCutcheon's the deep back, and Chris Gustafson at fullback. Looks like we're still discussing uh, the quarter change here. Uh, maybe they're in a TV timeout. <laughs> Hard TV timeout? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think uh, they're discussing the uh, where the where the sticks are, if they actually got switched, which they did. All right, so here we go. We got... Uh, First play of the second quarter. Connor Haynes in motion. Here's the handoff to Wiley McCutcheon up the middle. He gets about, I don't know, I want to say four or five yards. Almost back to the original line. Yeah, we're scrimmage. getting close. We're, I think we're a yard short. So right on the 50. So this is going to be uh, third and 11. Um, actually, a pretty decent little inside run. 
This is where I like to see um, out of this formation they have where they run strong right all the time. I'd love to see a counter out of this play, you know? Yeah. Just have everybody running right, throw a little counter in there, and see if you can get around the outside edge. Here's Connor Haynes in motion. Here's a snap. Oh, they're passing. The receiver is well covered. He turns and looks the other way, and the ball is incomplete. So we're looking at uh, fourth and 11. Uh, it was a good idea, but they had two-man coverage on our one receiver. And that ball was kind of... Well, it was fortunately in a position where only the receiver could catch it. So yeah. that was the good part. So it was further down the field than the two defenders. Uh, that only a 7'8 receiver could have caught. Well, see, I think <laughs> there might have been a confusion on the route because it looks like he turned the wrong way. But anyway, it looks like the Wolverines are going to punt. Uh, it is 4th and 11 on the 50. And they've kind of shifted into a punt formation. And we're waiting on the officials. I think we're ready to go. Low snap. Here's the punt. Semi-decent punt. It's bounced over toward the edge, right out. It landed just over the 26-yard line. And marking out. Oh, my goodness. At the 21. Uh. Yeah, he, he, was, he wasn't looking where he was going. He, <laughs> 25. He, he's going to mark it on the 25, even though it bounced on the, uh, just outside the 26. But we'll take the 25 there. All right, so there we go. A little uh, timeout here, looks like, uh, by Seton Catholic. So we are uh, 18 to 7, uh, Seton Catholic leading with 11, 12 left in the second. Uh, our little quick timeout here. I think Seton Catholic just wants to go over what they have planned here for the last 11 minutes. Uh, let's see what we got here. Everybody's getting water. Nothing really exciting on the Wolverine side. Got the Cougar cheer squad cranking away here. There you go, mom and dad, if that's your daughter down there. We got Friday Harbor down below us. Uh, there's a birthday down there. There is, and I'm going to pull up my phone right now. It's Izzy Graham's 17th birthday today, captain of the cheer squad. Here I'm they not go. not sure which one. We do not have the best angle with this camera. No, we are way at the very top. <laughs> my nose is bleeding. All right, so we're going to out of the timeout here. Uh, Seton Catholic, they're running trips uh, on the far side, single receiver on this side of the pistol again. Looked like another uh, false start. Quarterback keeper, he is tackled for uh, no gain by three Wolverines, maybe four. So we, we, they're not a, what are, what are they not a gang of Wolverines. What are they? What's the official term? A gaggle. For is it a gaggle? No. No, there's got to be the official term. For <laughs> I think it's a Wolverine pack. A pack, they, of, a pack I, of Wolverines? I think that's what Sam... PB told me. It's a pack of cause, Wolverines. Cause, yeah, because he was said a pack, and I'm pretty sure there's it's throwback Friday or flashback <laughs> Friday to when Sam told me yeah. that he Googled, he Googled it, it, and it, and it's, that a was whack, it. it's, a, it's a pack of Wolverines. All right, well, there's Seton Catholic to the line. They've got tw tw two receivers on either side, still in a pistol formation. Here's the snap. It's a quick pass to the far side. Uh, let's see. There's a flag on the play and a quick up by the Wolverines. They push him out on the th Wolverine, or the, I mean the Seton 34. Flag looked like it was probably in an area where you were going to see holding. I think it was the other receiver trying to do his crack block. He, I think he held. So and we'll see what they signal here. And they got away with a big one last time. Yeah, they, uh, they got on a 35 yard gain. It should have gone for negative 10. So they're over there discussing everything here. A little substitution for the Seton Catholic team. And what's the signal here? Is he signaled yet? Talking to I the tell you what, I know it's in. Uh, we're in ineligible, the, ineligible receiver downfield. So, huh? it, so the tight end wasn't covered up, right? So, or are they both left? They probably both left him uncovered. That's probably what happened. So, one of the receivers wasn't up on the line, like he should have been. But John, um, it's it's hard to tell that it is uh, <laughs> nearly October. Yeah, we're almost October. This and is like a nice August day here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they don't have a lot of deciduous trees around us. Pretty much everything is an evergreen, yeah. it seems like. So we're second and 15 out of the five-yard penalty seat in Catholic. They're running trips to the far side, single receiver to our side. Pistol formation again. 
Here's the snap. It's going to be a handoff reverse. Uh, Wolverines are there and ready for it. Uh, Jeffrey Volk and Connor Haynes with the tackle. Number 14, never heard of him. <laughs> and looks Volk like. Volk sniffed that one out yeah, coming from the he, other side I of the I think he field. got crammed on the elbow, so he's taking a little break over there. All righty, so who is in? They're going to move Connor Haynes to the spot where Jeffrey was at, which is the outside linebacker. It is. They sent Pierce Klein in to play the middle spot where Connor was. It is about third and. Uh, A lot. Third and. Uh, <laughs> 19. 16 city blocks. No, no yeah. third, third and 19. Um, so here we are. Trips, trips on the far side again. Single receiver on our side. Uh, now they're moving the formation. Now they're running a far receiver. Oh, this is, that was uh, good old uh, Jerry Glanville there. There's an almost an interception from Graham, and I still don't know Graham's last name. So you see that? That was old Jerry Glanville there. All the receivers on the line, no one in the backfield. What they used to call that? That was uh, with the Houston Oilers. Yeah. Um, gosh, I can't. Yeah, what they, Elvis formation. I, I can't know. what they called that offense. Up. He was the first one to really. I mean, they called the greatest show on turf for the Rams, but they had some name when Jerry Glanville used to do it. All right, so we're on fourth and 19. Looks like um, Seton Catholic's going to punt. Back deep for the Wolverines is number two, I believe. Is it two or seven? I'm going to – it's and 12. It's Jackson Waldron. And a timeout is taken by – Yeah, who's, who did they said? No, I didn't see which way it went. Well, what's the scoreboard say? So we both all have three, so no one's keeping track there. Yeah. <laughs> well, usually they'll motion. So we got a little timeout. We're going to – Think about what's going on here. It's 18-7, to 7, uh, Seton Catholic, with Whoa. 9 minutes and 26 seconds left. Wolverine Sports on Friday, Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Island Petroleum Services, Star Excavation and Septic, Lake Restoration, Pacific Burn Installation, and Miller Drywall. And make sure you drop by and thank all of our sponsors, partake of their service. They are making the broadcast possible. For you, down in Vancouver, when you – can we are on a different – Monitor. This, there we go. We're back on it. Um, anyway, what, those of you down in Vancouver, when you visit Friday Harbor, make note of our sponsors and uh, drop in and thank them for making this free for you so you didn't have to miss any work. All right, so here we're off the timeout. It's like Seton Catholic's going to kick. Low bouncing snap. He just gets it off, almost hitting his own guy. It bounces on their 35 and rolls to the Seton Catholic 47. 46, they're going to mark it on the 46. I'm not kind of following how they're marking stuff here. It <laughs> doesn't seem to quite line up with how I've always seen football. Anywho, so it's going to be first and 10 for the Wolverines on the uh, – what are they doing with the chains? Nobody knows what they're doing here. First and 10 for the Wolverines on Seton Catholic's 46. They got the chains backwards. They're going to get it figured out here in just a second. I thought it was going to be first and zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way they had to change it was. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> first and zero for the Wolverines. Um. Automatic first down. Wolverines trail 18-7, 9-15 to go in the second quarter. All right, the Wolverines are up to the ball. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, it's like Pierce Klein at the wing. He goes in motion. Here's the snap, handoff to Connor Haynes right up the gut, and he fumbles. And it looks like the Wolverines got it back. Trying to see who recovered the ball there. And it is Wolverine ball. It was, who came up with the ball there? Big guy. Looks like Tate Geyser with the fumble recovery. So we are back to second and 10 on the 46 uh, yard line of Seton Catholic. Wolverines up to the ball. And let's see if we get some motion. There's Klein in motion. Uh, hand off to Connor Haynes right in the middle. Runs into his own guy. Gets some more yardage after the fact. He is up to, I think, the 39 of Seton Catholic. That will make it a third and three play. That was a big pickup on a second down right there, bringing it third Good and shot. very manageable because they're on this end of the field. It's four down territory yeah, uh, with that no Brock Houck offense. Yeah. So that was a, a very important make, make it manageable. If they, they should be able to get three yards in two plays. All right, so here are the Wolverines up to the ball. Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Toss to Connor Haynes. 
Makes it around the edge there. Gets some solid yardage at the middle. Up to Seton Catholic's, I want to say, 27. Wolverines driving. They started this at their own 49, was it? First and 10, Wolverines down at uh, the 24-yard line of uh, Seton Catholic. Wolverines trail 18-7, but they are driving, trying to turn it into a one-score game. Wolverines on the ball. Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Right up the gut to Chris Gustafson. Good run up the middle. He's got to hang on to that ball, though, and not put his hand out the stiff arm guys in the middle of a pile. That quick hitter right there, though, uh, he was to that second level, lightning quick. Now the Wolverines are into the Seton Hall red zone. Excuse me, Seton Hall. <laughs> sorry, I thought I was. Seton Hall. Sorry, I thought it was uh, Big East basketball there for a second. It is to the Seton Catholic, uh, I believe, the 15-yard line. First right. and ten for the Wolverines. Wolverines are up on the ball. So we got Wiley McCutcheon now at wing back with Connor Haynes at the far back. Chris Gustafson still full back. Here's the handoff to Connor. Good solid run again. It's like a five, six yard gain. Ball's going to be on Seton Catholic's 10. Solid pickup there on first down. Oh, they're going to mark it back to the 11. Give him five yards on that carry. The Wolverines ground and pound. No mystery coming up here, John. No, but I, I think he's trying to mix up the backs a little bit, give them a little different look at different backs, doing different things. Um, you know, Wiley's the more cutter. You know, Connor's a little more up and down. So here's uh, Wiley McCutcheon in motion. Here's the snap. Hand off to Connor Haynes. He gets maybe a yard on the play. That had some real potential to go somewhere. Just the blocking kind of fizzled out at the end. He, he, I think that he was focused on protecting the ball, as you said earlier, because it looked like he could have put his foot in the turf yeah. and, and cut just back. Cut right in there, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'd rather, you know, get a yard than give up the ball. Yeah, that's exactly it. All right, so we're looking at third and I want to say four uh, on the Seton Catholic 10. Uh, it's like we shifted our running backs around again. Now we got. Pierce Klein at the wing and Wiley McCutcheon at the deep back. Here's Klein in motion. Inside hand off to Wiley McCutcheon. He gets three yards, I want to say. They're really close to the first down. Brings up fourth and one, it looks like, from up here. Fourth and one. Yep. Wolverines. On the Seton Catholic seven. So obviously, we're going for it here. <laughs> Wolverines driving, although they do have a great kicker. Been you impressed. do, but I think you could get a score here. Because it's still a two-score game if, if they get the extra point. Or, excuse me, if they kick the field goal. All right. So, there's the Wolverines. Looks like Klein in motion. Here's the handoff to Gustafson. He gets snagged right at the line. I don't think that he got it. Uh, I got one official on the six and one on the seven. And let's see who we agree on where the ball's at. Looks like the Wolverines were short. They're going to turn it over on downs to Seton Catholic. That's going to mean they're going to have the ball on their own seven. A good-looking drive there, John. Um, it didn't come away with points. No. But uh, I liked how they mixed things up. They did. And I think that's got to be the key, I think, going forward with the running is, is they do need to mix up the different backs at different spots because that seems to be giving – Seton Catholic a harder time. They, they only had one play that went backwards. Wolverines trail 18-7-5-0-2 remaining in the first half. Like the timeout on the field taken by Friday Harbor. Yep, I think that's going to be our last one. Can't take him in the locker room. Well, you might as well spend them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get any bonuses. Wolverine Sports and Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, San Juan Surveying, Friday Harbor Electric, Haley's Bar and Grill, Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry, and American Legion. Hey, I'm sorry? I've been saying Blade Restoration. Blade Resurrection. Instead of Blade Restoration, BladeResurrection.com. We'll make a note of... That right there. And All 
All right, so here we go. The timeout's over. Seton Catholic's back on the field. The Wolverines are still on their sideline. They're calling for the Wolverines. Let's see if the official gives them another yell here. Yep, there's another whistle. It means get your butt over there or we're calling you a delay a game. <laughs> <laughs> 5:02, 18-7, Wolverines trail. They have backed up the Cougars of Seton Christian, or Seton Catholic rather, um, on their down, own seven. Down at their own seven-yard line, Wolverines trying to win the. So it's going to be battle. trips, but they split to a five-receiver set, so they're all in here. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Quick throw to the right side. The number 18. Instantly met by Graham, I'm not sure his last name, <laughs> Connor Haynes, and Wiley McCutcheon. So three Wolverines on the tackle, really close to the first down. That's about a yard short. It's going to be on uh, Seton Catholic's 16-yard line, maybe a yard and a half. Can't tell where that pin is. Wolverines getting challenged right here by get, get, getting completely spread out. Well, and that's kind of the point of that offense is to push you back a little bit so you can take those under routes pretty easily. So here comes Seton, Seton Catholic again. They're doing four wide receivers in the pistol. We'll see if they move the running back up again like they have been doing. It's like he's staying back there. Here's the snap. Bobbled. Rolling to the far side. Quick pass. Number eight has it for a first down on the Seton Catholic 32. Or no, no, I that's 28. I think 27. I was reading it the wrong way. That's okay. At least it's not the 52-yard line. No, that's definitely not the 52-yard line. Um, so they're kind of in between the hash marks there between uh, the 26 and 27. Wolverines defense on their heels on some of these. Yeah, a little plays. bit. Uh, Jeffrey Volk got injured on the previous drive, and he's still on the sideline, and so they've had to shift a few guys around. Connor Haynes has taken his spot on this edge on our side. So we're running trips left, uh, and here comes the pitch to that direction. Uh, bad pitch. Play is completely broken up with a, what do we say, a pack of Wolverines making the tackle. A, yes, a pack of Wolverines. And and it was the bobbled snap threw off the timing yeah. of that right there. I think even then they, the they had that one sniffed out anyway. It looked like it wasn't going to go anywhere. So they gave him not a loss on the play. So maybe a yard. It looked like it was further back than that. So anyway, we're uh, second and I want to say 11 on Seton Catholic's 26. Sorry, the screen got a little bit milky. My left arm is wearing out because of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep it raised. As, it's like I'm in second grade and that teacher won't take my question. So here we got a full spread here with a pistol. Two receivers on both sides. Uh, Wolverines are late to cover the extra receiver, but here's Connor Haynes with almost an interception. Got there right when the ball got there for number 33. Good pass breakup by Connor Haynes. Man, and if, if he does that, the Wolverines are in business in Cougar territory, but a good pass well, breaks up, brings up second and 11. That's two plays that the Wolverines uh, had have held out. them in check. Yeah, that one, they sniffed out both those plays. That was pick six easy if he catches that ball. Yeah. All right, so here's Seed Catholic. They got the play in. Third and 11, 3 10 to go in the second quarter in the first half of Wolverines against Vancouver's Seton Catholic. So they're running trips to the far side, single receiver to our side. Here's going to be the snap. And drop back. He's rolling to the far side. He's looking downfield. Number four again. Uh, missed tackle by the Wolverines. Two missed tackles by the Wolverines. And the ball is out to the Wolverine 47 with three minutes left in the uh, second quarter here. Wolverines forcing the Cougars to go the length of the field. This drive started at the Cougars' seven-yard line. Wolverines turned over on downs. Yeah, it looks like we're having some confusion on who's to cover who in that, uh, in that uh, spread formation there. Wolverines are missing a starter. So they're making some adjustments. Growing up right here is uh, one of the younger players. All right, here's Seton Catholic up to the ball. Clock's running. We're down to almost two minutes and 30 seconds. Trips to the far side, single receiver to this side. Uh, one of them mows back, so now we got a, what is, what's that called, a wing formation almost? 
There's a pitch. The ball is all over the place on the ground, and he is down uh, for a loss of eight on the play. So that moves them back to their own 45-yard line. So we're going to be second and I want to say 18. 18. 18. 18. 17. Uh, I'll give you 18. Three plus five. All right. So let's see if the Wolverines can keep up this defensive pressure here and not give up another first down, at least go into the half where we're at. Maybe get a turnover here, make it even better. All right, so we got uh, trips to the, our side, single receiver to the far side. Here's the snap. He's rolling to the far side. Uh, oh, he's going to try to run, and he is tackled by the Wolverines. Uh, let's see, get a gain of two yards on the play. So it's going to be third and 16 now. 18 minus two. Yep, yep. 16. Third and 16. Oh, I was counting the hashes. <laughs> so let's make sure. <laughs> I tried to uh, put my Friday, excuse me, my Ferndale education on display here. <laughs> Wolverines trying to hold here. Just about one minute to go here in the first half when the ball is snapped, trailing 18 to seven. They will get the ball to start the second half. So the Wolverines, uh, if they can get a stop, keep this thing uh, close. All right, so Seton Catholic's up to the ball. Wolverines are milling around to cover trips on the far side, single receiver on our side. Quarterback steps up a little bit. Here's the snap. He's going to roll to the far side. He's looking deeper. He fakes the pass. He's coming back the other way. Connor Haynes is in pursuit. And who was that? The Wiley McCutcheon cuts him off with Connor Haynes finishing off the tackle. No, I'm sorry. That was Pierce Klein. Cut him off, and Connor Haynes finished it. Brings up fourth and seven. Wolverines, I think. Nope, they don't have any. They shouldn't have any timeouts left. No, Third. this isn't. This isn't fourth and seven. This is oh, like fourth and five. Okay, where I was looking. Anyway, uh, uh, that, that is a timeout taken right, by. They moved. The, they moved the spot back again. Uh, again, my Ferndale education. No, you were right. They just <laughs> uh, they keep re spotting the ball after the play. Anyway, you were saying. Anyway, uh, Wolverines force a fourth down. Uh, I keep wanting to say Case, and I look up at the scoreboard. Yes, case is prominent, yes. but it is. And I, I'm going to say Seton Hall a couple more times. Uh, Seton Catholic. Seton Catholic. Five, two, three, five. So, so yeah, I don't know. The Seton Catholic must have that timeout because they tackled him. They did. They tackled him bounds. So and they've got. I think they've got one, and we're out. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, a Wolverine defense trying to uh, get off the field here, keep it a two-score game. Yeah, it, it uh, would be a good situation. Sec- Thirty-three seconds. You got to wonder what uh, what Seton Catholic has up their sleeve if it's going to be a punt, bury the Wolverines. Or if they have a gadget fake. I think they're going for a pass play here. I think it's the same as a punt at this point. You might as well go a pass route. If you get the first down, you got it. If you miss it, you're not giving over a really bad field position here. So they're running uh, all men on the line. So it's definitely a pass play. Oh, and there's an offsides on. Fourth and two Wolverines. coming up. So fourth and two. So they'll probably do the same, same thing. What's the old saying? Hold I, your water. I, I think <laughs> I, I think that the call on the sideline was e- exactly Hard that. Hard count. Yep. Hard count the Wolverines. See if we can make it fourth and a manageable to 33 seconds to go in the first half. Yep. So the old coaches used to say, hold your water. <laughs> All right, Seton Catholic up to the line again. They've switched to trips on the far side, single receiver on this side. So we'll see what they got planned here. I'm going to guess another pass, but it could be an inside run. That was a false start, and there's a fumble. And the Wolverines are on it. I don't think they got the first down. Yep, they're short the first down, so they're going to turn the ball over here to the Wolverines with 28 seconds left. Wolverines. um, You know, you you get one of those uh, Chris Gustafson out there leading the block. You, You got something... Uh, offensively right here, John. Um, well, I think you run that same play that scored the touchdown on before. Nice wide. They got the wide side of the field to the far side. That would that would be the mirror of what we saw on this side of the field when they're going the other way. So Whoa. I think you run that same play again and see if you get the same kind of uh, coverage that you got out of Seton Catholic. Would it be the old veer? <laughs> it, uh, Roberson comes in with the play. Number 34 off the field. See the long shadow being cast. Yeah, it's getting close to that. Oh, it went right past that tree. Too bad. 
All right, so Wolverines are up for the play. It looks like uh, Pierce Klein is at the wing back. Here is the play. There, it's going to be a pass to number 10. Got the ball. Get out of bounds, Chief. Oh, did he get out of bounds? Drags tacklers, but it's the clock stops on a first down. It does, but if it's out of bounds, yeah. and the clock stopped uh, all yeah. the way, so that'll be kind of nice. They're waving the chains. I don't know if he's sitting a lot of bounds, though. That play so took 19 seconds and so 19 on the seconds on the clock. Seton Catholic uh, 29, and are they going to wind the clock here? Uh, no, they are not. So he did get out of bounds. So they're the Wolverines first and 10 on Seton Catholic's 29. They have a chance here for hopefully a score. Or give that field goal kicker a chance. That, that could be the – well, they're out of timeouts, so that's going to be hard to do. Here's the play. Uh, handoff to Connor Haynes. He's got blockers. They tackle him down on the 20. That means the Wolverines have to get up on the ball real quick here and make a play. Oh, we get a seconds. whistle. What's the whistle for? Ooh, they give him Friday Harbor a timeout. Oh, that we must, could we be must, a 10-second runoff uh, if, if – We must have had one left. I thought we yeah. used them all, but maybe we didn't. Okay. So here we go. We've got the Wolverines on the 20, which I think we're in range for Victor. If they're going to kick here. They got 12 seconds left, and I'm assuming now there are no timeouts left. So you either have to go for the end zone here with a pass if you want to try to still kick, or the halftime's over, or you're going to halftime, right? Wolverines trail 18-7 here at the at Wolseley Stadium. That sounds like a Midwest. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a Midwest hardware store. <laughs> Woolsey, welcome to Woolsey's. All right, the Wolverines are coming back out to the ball here. We have everything from soup to nuts here at Woolsey. <laughs> so what do we got here? We got, oh, we're going to kick. So Victor's up to kick. So they're going to kick from the, looks like they're going to spot it on, the snap will be on the 26. So Victor that makes Velasquez. it 36-yard field goal. Am I correct on that? So here we go. Wait for the snap. Wait for the other official to get in place to see if he can call it. All right, so the officials are ready. We're going to get a whistle here from the white hat. All right, here we go. Wolverines are down for the snap. Victor's back to kick. Here's the snap. Ball's down. Kick is up, and it looks like it is good. Long enough, and it is good through the uprights. Wolverines cut it to an 18 to 10 margin going into the break there is five seconds on the clock yep. john and you know that that's pretty uh remarkable given the turn of events they they don't get the touchdown they force them to go the length of the field they can't do it turnover on downs wolverines come away with points in uh what that drive took uh, it was 38, so it, took, it took 33 seconds. 33 seconds, yeah. 33 seconds to get three points. I, I'd say I consider that a win. Oh, definitely. I mean, they made the stop. They got three points. I mean, we still got to kick off here, but, you know, you go into the halftime scoring, that's always a positive. So, and they had a great defensive stop. So, I mean, you got, you're going in on two positives right there. Yeah, and uh, and the Wolverines get the ball to start the second half. This is correct. So, um, so you, you know, can come out right off the bat if you get a score then. You're looking at 18-17. If you go for two, 18-18. So yeah. you have a chance to tie the game up on the first possession. So Wolverines, um, we've seen, we talked about playing four quarters several times, and this is where I think the Wolverines' mentality of, of you know, this game is never over. Uh, you play four quarters. They've played two, uh, two good quarters to start. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's been a few mistakes here and there, and I think that, at halftime, they can discuss some of the defensive mishaps. I mean, they've seen they've tightened up a little bit defensively. Um, there's still that zone coverage on those middle routes they're having issues with. But and we'll see here it. comes the kickoff. And it's a bouncer, bouncer, bouncer right down the middle. Uh, and here comes Seton Catholic. He's cutting back. He's cutting up again. And the Wolverines make the tackle. And that is the end of the first half. And the end of the first half has the Wolverines trailing Seton Catholic of Vancouver, 18 to 10. Wolverine we'll Sports on Friday Harbor County TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. 
by Banner Bank, Blade and Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Turf and Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance and the Timmy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services, and John. Um, if you could have scripted the final 38 seconds, I think that's pretty much how you would do it. Um, well, of course, you'd want to well, you want a touchdown. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, um, but as far as minimizing the damage from them and coming away with points, uh, I think they did exactly what. Well, I agree. I think, you know, going to the halftime showing, you always want to try to get points. And they managed to do that, which is great. And they're going to be receiving the ball to start the half. So it puts you in a position of, of ending on a positive and starting the half with the ball and you know theoretically we could have a tie game after the first possession which would be huge and you can't see it because our camera is on the scoreboard right now but uh because this is uh two visiting teams there's no locker room yes there are so you have catholics the, on our left side and friday herbert's on our right <laughs> yeah they're wolverines uh this is old school tiger football where you yeah, just go yeah, sit in is. the end zone yeah exactly this is where you see the moms come out with the, uh, with the oranges yeah, oranges, a bucket of oranges capri suns <laughs> yeah that's exactly and, it yeah so uh but the wolverines trail 18 to 10 they will get the ball to start the the third quarter uh john we talked about our keys to the game one of them our Farmers Insurance and Tammy Cotton Agency keys to the game. One of them was to uh, establish the ground game. Wolverines actually um, had one big pass play that led to points. Yes. There to close out uh, the... And it was a double route. We don't see the Wolverines run double routes very often. So the wide receiver came across and ran a post route from the left side to the right. And number 10 is the tight end. He came across the middle through the linebacker coverage. So that's not something you usually see the Wolverines run. I know it's in the playbook, but we don't see it very often. So I think that was partly the success of that is they were covering the man downfield with two, and that left the linebacker to cover the tight end. And if you get behind on a tight end route, it's over. Yeah, and, and so the Wolverines get the ball down um, into field goal range, and that is that Velasquez's first uh, field goal of the season. I think it is. He's had a few extra points. He had some in LaConnor and some in the South Whidbey game, and I think Grant Falls they kicked toward the end. So. Yeah, and I think you. But put, I think it is his first. I field think you goal. put it down as a 38-yard field goal. Yeah, 36, 38. It was right in there. So you you, you got to like that development. Yeah. Um, Knowing you, you can kick. Yes, but all, we, we've seen him uh, have some good deep kickoffs as well. And so, you know, the Wolverines are changing a little bit of their makeup of the last couple of years where it's been a lot of squib kicks. Yeah. They're now kicking it end over end deep and making, uh, making the opponent try to return it. And Wolverine coverage, I've seen it getting better. They're staying in their lanes yeah. better on those kickoffs, and that's really what you want to see. And and so I like that, that, that Brock is evolving. He's adapting to the strengths of the players. Yeah. And and now the strength of the Wolverines has been a ground and pound game, and that are, is our first key to the game is establish that ground game. And, and I think they did to some extent. Um, for some reason, some plays had good yardage and some didn't, but they were the same. And I'm trying to figure out why Seton Catholic – allowed some yardage on some plays and not on the other. When they're the same exact play, they would get two yards. The next time they ran it, they get eight. And I'm I'm wondering, you know, if it's just they're seeing something different or the motion was different because they ran a lot of plays. Normally there's motion on every play for the Wolverines. They've been running a lot of the plays without motion. I think to try to give them, a, give them something to look at that's different. So from that aspect, I wonder if it might be give them a little bit of a different uh, look. Um, and speaking the of outside running, though, is where I've seen more success, and I wonder if we'll see a little more of that because when they've managed to get a good outside run, it's been 8, 10, 15 yards. And, you know, you got you got Wiley McCutcheon back there whose strength is speed and cutting. And on outside runs, that's because those kind of running backs really take advantage of it. Connor Haynes and Chris Gustafson are more up-the-middle runners. You know, they're north-south. They're just plowing through the hole, and then they cut and make a run. So – uh, it'll be interesting to see if we maybe see Wiley McCutcheon running a little more on the outside. And w this is all done under the watchful eye of the Kings Knight on the corner. <laughs> I think that's cool. I mean, if, if the Wolverines build a new stadium and if ever down the road when they do that, definitely a Wolverine <laughs> statue on the gym 
would be epically awesome. And you got to put a light on it. There must I got to think that somewhere around here there's a light that points at that thing in, uh, in the winter when it's dark or, out. Or a light that shoots out. Or, or the eyes light up. <laughs> yeah, that would be when, pretty cool. They, um, you know, if they give up a score, the steam comes out of the ears. <laughs> you know, if uh, if they score those you know, arms animatron, go up. animatronic <laughs> arms. That seems like that'd be pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, the Wolverines, uh, Friday Harbor has a good STEM program. Yeah, they, so can build a, they can build it inside the STEM they, lab. They could build anything in there. Um, you know, they're an award-winning STEM program. Yeah. Um, so Friday Harbor has a lot of uh, a, a lot of options. That be a we're happy project. To, we're yeah, we're we're happy to supply ideas uh, to Friday Harbor for uh, fan engagement and uh, experience improvement. Uh, but the Wolverines right now trail fourteen, excuse me, eighteen to ten. Uh, just about nine minutes to go. We are in our uh, in our. Let's see, Lemon Computers Halftime Show. Oh, we are, show. Lemon Computers Halftime Show, all right. Lemon Computers Halftime Show. We're talking about our Kayla's Keys to the Game. Yeah, so running, you know, I, I think that's been working out pretty well. Um, I think there's still a few things they can iron out, and hopefully, you know, the guy in the box is going to go down and talk to the coach and say, hey, you know, the outside runs are working better. Let's call a little more of that. Um, defensively. We talked about the pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, they're, they're getting a little more pressure. I still think the the zone coverage on the under routes for Seton Catholic are giving them issues. Um, what they do is the the Wolverines run a three man line with um, two linebackers on the edges and then three linebackers behind them. So the the outside linebackers, the Wolverines are almost kind of like defensive ends, but they play more of a linebacker role. So when you run four receivers against that, um, they still have to protect the edge run from the quarterback. But someone has to make the coverage. So the receiver is getting behind the outside linebacker, and the middle linebacker on that side is covering the next guy. So there's this gap there, and that seems to be where Seton Catholic's throwing the ball. Um, and it's a short route, and if, if you tackle right away, it's a five- or six-yard game. If you miss the first tackle, then it's a 12- or 15-yard game. And that seems to be the pass plays, how they've been going for Seton Catholic, as they're hitting those spots and getting solid yardage. And, uh, and the Wolverines, you know, we, we, I'm seeing them uh, adjust, and I'm actually seeing them grow up, John. They're, they're kind of adapting to the opponent. This, they, seeing a five-receiver set isn't something that you're seeing up in the Northwest 1A, 2B. No, no, it's usually a lot more running. But this I think is, the, the positive to that, though, is I think what's happening is they're getting better pressure up the middle, and that's forcing the quarterback to make his throw sooner. And that's where the routes aren't – they're not there in their routes yet. So they're not in that spot where it's open yet. They're on their way there. And so he's got to force the throw, which has led to some bad passes. And they've had and he, I think what's happening is throwing his timing off a little bit where he's hurrying on the snap, right? Exactly. So we, we've we, seen bobble we've snaps. We've seen some bobble snaps. And I think he's already into the play trying to move it forward before he has the ball and it's led to those bobbles. Yeah, and so with with that, we saw a couple of big pass plays early on. We have seen uh, less of that uh, going forward. Uh, I like the adjustments that the Wolverines um, that the Wolverines uh, have been able to make. And the other one is win the turnover battle. The Wolverines uh, they lost a turnover on downs yep. early in the game. I consider that to be a turnover as well um, when it, when it's that field position because that they were. Certainly in plus field, the, the excuse me, the um, Seton was certainly in plus field position, and they, they made the Wolverines pay. Yeah, and I agree completely with that. Um, yeah, you always look at a turnover on downs as essentially a turnover. So um, the only thing that I think that I've, I've seen, seen is I thought has, has been, been really lacking, lacking is, is the punt, punt coverage. coverage. I mean, I mean that's, that's not something, something you want to brag about. about. Oh, we've got, got great punt, punt coverage. coverage. On the other hand, we do have to punt. punt. And you can, you can see, see from, from up here, here wow, there's, there's a lot of room on the side of the field. field. The, I, know I know they don't know if they practice a lot of punt coverage because usually we don't punt. Usually we usually don't punt. Usually go for it on fourth down. So I think there needs to be a little more discussion on how that's going to work. If you do have a punt, do you need to cover your quadrant field. Because that one run back, it was one guy who made that play. And if he hadn't made that play, he would have been way down on that punt. Yeah. So. And, and you know, credit the Wolverines, um, you know, they, 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 they will play, play anybody, anybody, anytime, anytime anywhere. That's it. And this, this is a 1A team uh, from, from Vancouver. Vancouver. The Wolverines 
uh, you can see the, the difference in the size of the roster. Yeah, and you can see a difference in the size of the roster and also a size uh, differential in the players. You see a couple of guys that are in the three. I'm, I'm seeing a couple of guys that are probably pushing, pushing 280. Uh, and they do have a couple of guys. I remember number 61. He looks like he's, um, you know, a, a college right tackle. He has that size. Uh, wearing a 61, I'm assuming the, that he's a, an offensive lineman. And um, and then they had number 16, a big receiver. Yeah, receiver is pretty good. And they and they've done a good job learning from what they uh, what what happened with South Whidbey. Where South Whidbey, uh, they had three receivers over six two. And they get court pressure on the quarterback. Quarterback would fade it up, and his guys were running under it. 50-50 uh, balls were 90-10 when you have a 6'4 guy going against your 5'10 defensive back. So the Wolverines, I think, have done a good job matching up size-wise with, with the experience of the past where they've taken on all these other teams. And we've seen them go down to, what's it, um, down in South Seattle, um, the Pirates. Yeah. What I'm trying to. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. but the, the Wolverines went down there, went to the toe to toe with them, went to the wire, lost um, on on a questionable call. So and that was a two way team. We've seen the Wolverines take on two way teams. So this is sort of the the makeup that Brock likes is to really kind of. Uh, Trust his guys, trust their development, trust the scheme, and let the chips fall see where they land. Well, and you were saying about learning from South Wibby, I have noticed when we watched the pass routes that the deep routes are covered well, and that was a problem against South Wibby. The under routes are where CD Caps attack, and that's, you know, that's a problem with the zone defense anyway. I mean, you can't, you can't cover every quarter of the field all the time, and that's the, in this setup, that's the most, available space, space in the middle. So they're, they're taking, taking advantage of what that defense gives them. them. However, the, the corners have played well enough they haven't been able for that deep route to take them out. And the Wolverines are now back out onto the field warming up. Some Catholic, and they are running lines. So um, everybody's warming up. They look like 5, 10, 15, 20. Got a good 35, 40 players on their roster. And yeah, I could fit Friday Harbor into my screen. <laughs> so um, we're getting more though. More kids have come out, so that's yeah. a good thing. I mean, we've got. Well, we, we, we talked about rebuild. Yeah, yeah, we've got uh, five over on the bench right there. So it, it's it, we're on the upside, you know. I mean, it's 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 a struggle for where we are with the number of kids we have, and and I I think ideal. I mean, if you really look at you know in the recent years, not way back in the Tyler Hart times, but you know, a 25 man teams, you know fairly normal for Friday Harbor. When it gets to the 18 is when you start to sweat it a little bit. But, you know, I, w I would say 25 is a pretty good average. Yeah, and and you, you, you find the 11 guys that you can trust, um, and then you get the other guys' experience. Yeah. And that's, that's what Brock has done masterfully as he's faced with, again, rebuilding this program. Um, you know, you, you got some good backs. You got some good disciplined kids that that have their their head on straight uh, well the nice thing with the kids that have shown up are kids that play tigers and that's what you want to see is that continuation from youth to the high school so um it usually we rely on a, a kid that moves here or you know something like that and in this the last group were all former tiger players which that's your natural build for your team yeah and, and that's kind of been lacking the last couple of years just because the way our school system works and our ages for our grades, you have those highs and lows, and we were kind of in a low. So and and all of these Amazon babies that we're going to be seeing. <laughs> well, don't don't <laughs> bet on and, that. Amazon and Microsoft babies that we hope we're seeing, and COVID babies. And you know, in in, in eighteen years, you know, we may see another if they're still living here. Bump. <laughs> well, there <laughs> there may be a, a little bump for the for Friday Harbor. Uh, you know, from these uh, seventeen years COVID babies. Yeah. You know, but but anyway, well, the, well, this is your Lemon Computers uh, halftime show. I'm Mike Martin. With me is John Volk. Our studio engineer is Ken Norris. And we'd like to thank Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, by Banner Bank, BladeResurrection.com. 
Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. We are ding right there. Almost like we scripted it, John. <laughs> Half time's over. Half time's over. Wolverines will head into their huddle. The refs are in their huddle. We Ooh, are. That's the player huddle, too, right there. Yep. No, no coaches. We're going to all talk now and see what we have to do to finish this game. Wolverines trail 18 10. Wolverines will get the ball to start the second half. And, John, uh, the hands team is going to be out there. Do you think uh, he moves more guys on there because they're squibbing? They are squibbing, but if you've noticed, it hasn't been the same squib every time. They've been moving it around. So I think they've been trying out different locations to see who's weak at getting the ball. So you might see actually a few guys move. Just I mean, that's what I noticed. The, yeah. Cause is, I, is they're trying different locations with the ball, and that tells me – they're trying to find a soft spot. And when I see that on my side, I want to switch a couple guys just to keep things interesting. But we'll see what the Wolverines do. And that's that's what I think. I think you may pull um, one deep guy, yeah, up, move, move him, him up, up yeah. and uh, move him up to the 30. Well, that's what I would do. I would do a, a 5-4 and then run 2-1 or something. Because yeah. all those kicks have been in where the 3 would be or the 4 would be. So I think I would do the same thing. I'd move some guys up and just have one deep guy. But – you know, it, it, and it doesn't seem like they can kick because they're not kicking the extra points. They, it, every kickoff's been the squib. So I yeah. would roll, I'd roll the dice and move guys up. Yeah, because I'm have i not seeing any confidence in a kicking game yeah, I agree. For, for them at all. So I, we're, we're in agreement that you're, we're moving uh, your kick coverage. You're adjusting to the opponent um, because I think they're looking at, you know, Trying to trying to create an extra possession for themselves. Right. Wolverines can create uh, maybe, maybe a, a, a return. return. Well, and, and, and think, think about it the other way around, way around too. They've, they've gone, gone for two, two every time, time they've they missed it. it. Um, so, so they've, they've lost, lost six points there. there. So, so by, by doing, doing this, they're trying to get back that, that six point possession. Point possession. So, so it makes sense the way they're having to play that you would try to do that every time to try to get that possession. They added three minutes to the halftime clock just, just to try to make Friday Harbor miss that ferry. <laughs> we got lots of time. We got lots of time tonight. <laughs> yeah, this game started, started at 4.30, and, so. and the sun is finally kind of getting ready to duck behind the clouds. It's got a little ways to go. We will try to shield it a little bit more, but it's making it a little bit difficult on us being at this elevation. Um, we were, we were down, down in the press, press box. Press box is probably in the shade, but, but I, I do like the vantage point. It's, it's a, a much, much better view. Up there. Turn on me. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Seton Catholic guys are supposed to film up here, and they got a little bit of shape. We had already taken the spot. Uh, we got Gerard up here filming for us, so he's going to get a good film for the Wolverine. <laughs> Take advantage of it. This, this is definitely a good view for filming the game. Oh, really? Yeah. They have a nice little crow's nest up here on top of the stadium. Yeah, you're not using this when it's raining. <laughs> no. I, that's what I was like. Well, I think we'll be with, with the fans this time. <laughs> but I looked at the weather report, and I was like, you know what? Um, it's not going to be raining. It's not going to be foggy. It's an early game. Um, and actually, when I say uh, I, it, I, I, when I saw the – Sam PB and I were talking, and he was asking if we were going to be streaming the game, what was going on. Um, and, and he said, yes, it's going to be a double header. should be interesting. I'm going to try to make it to the second game. I'm like, double header? like, what time does the game start? And I looked on fhwolverines.com, and I'm like, oh, 4.30. 4.30. All right, here we go. We'll get oh, I thought the Wolverines kicked off to start the game. No, they must have received. So we were wrong about that. Wolverines are kicking off. So throw out our talking points. Yep. That, that makes that three points even more important. It does. Now, now, so now you're coming out, you want a defensive stop, right? The same thing in Granite Falls with uh, DeAndre and I talked about, getting that first defensive stop. So here's the Wolverines kickoff. And it's kind of a little floater there. To, uh, and over to the far side, tackled by three Wolverines. Looks like Chris Gustafson, Jackson Waldron, and Tate Geyser. 
Hey, I can read the numbers. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the hey, hey. In your face. All right. Looks like uh, whatever's wrong with Jeffrey Volk, he must have iced it out because he's back out there. So we're back to our starting defense. And Tate Geyser's going off. For yeah, he got a little dinged on that kickoff there. So I'm not sure who went in for him. But, uh, yeah, he got a little ding. He kind of came up oh, a little twingy. So it's uh, Seton Catholic where they're in uh, spread formation pistol. Here's the snap. Looks to throw to the side. Chris Gustafson got held a little bit, but the pass got around him. Looks like a gain of seven on the play. Boy, if, if they're gonna if they're gonna give you that hold every single time, a block in the back, I mean, yeah. you know, why not do that? So second down and three for Seton Catholic on their own forty-three. Yeah, that was a, that, I mean, it wasn't a blatant hold, but it was enough to, well, that, to that's, interfere that, with the that's play. That's where you, as a defender, you raise your hands to let him show grabbing the yeah, jersey. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're trips to our side, single receiver to the far side. Moving to the false start there. There's going to be a run right up the middle. Uh, oh, it's a fumble, uh, but Seton Catholic got the ball back. And actually, I think they gained a yard on the play. Are you allowed to fumble forward in high school? <laughs> I didn't think you could. Should be back where he dropped the ball. Anywho, I, we're, we're officiating a, a, a tough business. I'm not going to criticize him too much. So we're uh, <laughs> second and one on the, or I'm sorry, third and one on the Seton Catholic 46. Wolverines 40, look, yeah, 46. Wolverines scored on their first possession of the game and last possession of the half, trailing 18 10. Yeah, it's a good thing Kayla officiates during this time of year because I was going to grill her on those plays <laughs> at the Connor last week because I think there was a few that went wrong there. But anyway, Seton Catholic's up to the ball. They are trips on the far side, single receiver on our side, pistol formation. He's trying to get them to jump off sides, so give them the hard count. Wolverines stay put. Oh, does it again. There's the snap, inside handoff. Uh, good stuff by the Wolverines. I think there was no gain on the play. They're going to... Nope, no gain. You see that official walking Yeah, from he the walked straight to where he marked it. So uh, fourth it's going to be one. fourth and one on the Seton Catholic 46. And that is some good discipline. Three times. Right there, yeah. yeah. He gave him a hard count there. Linebacker shook, but the guys in the front stayed, stall stayed solid. That must have been what they were talking about in the huddle <laughs> over here. <laughs> yep, be strong. Pay attention. Watch the ball. All right, we got uh, trips on our side, single receiver on the far side. Fourth and one. Here's the handoff right in the middle, and boy, I don't think he got it. Not tonight, a, my friend. I think that's a turnover on downs. No gain on the play. Not tonight, my friend. Wolverines hold on fourth and one. No gain on the play. They're going to mark it right at the 46-yard line. Yeah, that's a yard short. I don't know what we're debating Whoa. about here. That was fourth down. So the white hat turned over. There we go. Now we get there the we go. <laughs> we had a little discussion there. A little, little bit more dramatic than we thought it should be. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, first and ten for the Wolverines on Seton Catholic's 46. Uh, Wolverines come out, huddle up, got the ball switch done. Thanks Here's Dylan everyone. Roberson with the play. Thanks for everyone tuning in to Friday Harbor Tiny TV. We are live here at Woolsey Stadium in at Kings High School. Wolverines trail 18-10 in the third quarter. Wolverines to the line. There's motion from Pierce Klein. Hand off to Connor Haynes. Gets through the first tackle. Nice, solid run. Almost 10 yards. We'll see where they spot it out at. Looks like first down. So Wolverines move the chain on the first play. So we get a first and 10 now from uh, Seton Catholic's 36-yard line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to call second down. Are you kidding me? Oh. Are they going to measure? Are they seriously going to measure? They're going to measure. All right, so we're going to measure this. <laughs> <sighs> That's all right. Get a play called. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny. I, I, I do the chains, you know, for the home games, and I've been doing chains a long time. And it is far from an exact science. 
through the through the whole game, you're moving stuff back and forth, and you're never. It's always oh, it's what's there, it's what's there, it's kind of there. Oh, let's move back. You know, it's never 100%. And then you get to this point where it's a play on first and ten, and we're going to pull these chains out and measure this mess. But the Wolverines are <laughs> in the huddle. They're not really paying attention. I don't know that it actually affects the play. No, calls. I don't think it does. It just wastes everybody's time. I mean, it's a first down, but we're going to go. We're going to measure this thing anyway. These, these officials clearly do not know the ferry schedule, but I guess uh, you guys have a very, very long time tonight with an early well, start. Well, they're going to watch some of the, the next game. game. The Wolverines are. Yeah, look, it's first down. Oh, oh, no, wait. No, oh, e, I, oh, oh. <laughs> One in short. There we go. All right, so I just got a little text update from uh, Sean Klein, who coached the Tigers team that Victor played on last, and he made a 43-yard field goal in a playoff game against Lakewood. So that was a couple years ago. So it sounds like uh, Victor's got a little bit of leg in him. He was 12 when he kicked that field goal. Oh. So there you go. That answers our question going forward about long field goals for the Wolverines. And adjusting to personnel. All right. So here we go for the snap for the Wolverines. We're going to – I feel like this is going to be a handoff to Chris can, Guffis. Can, can the Wolverines the do a hard count themselves? They can. But I think this is just Guffis in up the middle. There's Klein in motion. And, nope, it's going to be to Connor. He's going to flow. He's taking the hole. He's got it. He's got it. Come on. Get on your horse. Oh, get into the end zone. There's a touchdown for the Wolverines. Nice and play. That goes from a second and one <laughs> to a touchdown. That's a 36-yard touchdown run. Wolverines pull two within. Excuse me. They just made the score 24-10. <laughs> no, <I didn't> <laughs> wow. That's a little whoopsie doodle. Um, Okay, well, anyway, it is 20, excuse me, 18-16. Yep. Wolverines, do they go for two? And they're two? going for two. 9.03 to go. I think they're going to even this score out. That's what they're going to try to do. Wolverines force a turnover on downs, convert immediately, two-play drive. And here we go. They're going to run the play, Klein in motion. We're going right up the middle there. There's Connor, easy two-point conversion. Didn't even get touched. And we, we talked about trusting your kicker's leg, but – Sometimes you have to trust your running back's legs and vision as well, and the Wolverines go in there, and they tie up the game at 18. Wolverines 18, the Seton Car excuse me, Seton Cougars 18. Wolverines come out. They do what they needed to do. Uh, we're back at zeros, basically. It's a new game. Well, a little bit of a different game because now we've shown we can come back and play harder. Shut them down on their first drive. This isn't like the start of the game where you're still trying to figure people out. Now that the, the, you see the momentum shift here for the Wolverines. And the thing that we know about Friday Harbor is they're going to, and this is not literally punch them in the mouth, but the Wolverines are going to hit them, punch them in the mouth on every single play, wear them down, and this is a 1A team that might not be thinking that a Friday Harbor team, these little island kids, are going to be this physical. And we'll see if that the physicality of the Wolverines can wear down Seton Catholic. And for those of you that are watching down in Vancouver, this is a Friday Harbor produced show, so we're going to be a little bit on the Homer side. <laughs> so <laughs> we were giving them props. Come oh on. yeah, but I'm just Homer. just saying that that you know we're not actually talking about your kids being punched in the mouth. Uh, good little middle kick there. Got it on the run though. Uh, solid tackle by two Wolverines. So that brings it out to the Seton Catholic 44 yard line where they'll start there. First and ten. We are tied at 18, 8.57 to go in the third quarter. We will see just exactly how much growth we've talked about it, John. The, the Wolverines are in rebuild mode. They had a uh, state championship caliber team two years ago. COVID came along and ruined everything. <laughs> so here are the Seton Catholics in uh, uh, spread offense. Here comes a snap. He's rolling to our side. Wolverines pursuing. Coverage looks pretty decent downfield. Good break up there by Wiley McCutcheon. Excellent pass defense. That's a very tight play, and that's uh, that's kind of what we were talking. We were talking about at halftime about cleaning up those middle passes. That was good coverage by the linebacker. 
And number 34 is going to be a fun player to watch. Is he a sophomore? That's Wiley McCutcheon. I think he is a freshman. Fresh. So we've got a youngster out there. Um, so he's a year behind Jeffrey. No, so maybe he is a sophomore. Anyway, it's uh, second and 10 again for Seton Catholic. They're going to go trips to our side, uh, one receiver on the far side. Well, they got a man in motion. So they motion out into the far side. That's where the pass is looking. Coverage looks pretty solid. Oh, there he is. That's a tackle for a loss. So that's technically a sack. That would be Jack Mason and who else was on that tackle? I think it was uh, Tate Geiser getting a half sack apiece there. So it's like a two-yard loss. So we're going to be third and 12 on Seton Catholic's 42-yard line. 41. And there has been... A uh, palpable momentum shift. Oh, definitely, John. Um, the Wolverines make have made some uh, adjustments to that pass game, flushing the quarterback, but able to uh, latch onto those defensive backs and really not let him get outside uh, the hash marks. So here we go. Uh, trips to the far side, single receiver to our side. Deep back set, and it's a fake handoff. He's rolling to this side, passes downfield a little too far for their receiver. Incomplete pass for Seton Catholic. That gives them fourth down with 12 to go fourth and on 13. their own 42-yard line. They're going to have fourth and 12. So the Wolverines. Looks like we're going to force a punt situation here unless they're going to go for it. But I think what you're seeing now is a little better coverage by the linebackers. Have you noticed that? The, 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 they've taken away that. that you talked about the that middle soft route. under. Yeah. Yep, they've taken away that middle route, and the deep routes have been covered well. So I think that's kind of really given uh, Seton Catholic a tough time here. So we got a deep man back here. It's Jackson Waldron for the punt. Uh, here's the punt. It's short, and I think they're going to let it bounce, see which way it goes, and it takes kind of a neutral bounce and stops right there. <laughs> On the uh, Wolverine 42. Boy, I think this went straight up in the air and it, settled down. It looked like he had his pitching wedge out there, the he way that. Dropped it right in there. Dropped in there, moved it close to the pin. Oh, he's on the green. Well, anyway, the Wolverines <laughs> will start at their own 42 yard line. 7.45 to go. Tied at 18 here at Woolsey High. You see me? What? Woolsey Stadium. Woolsey Stadium at, at King's High School. There you go. Under the watchful eye of the Kings, of the Kings Knight up there. All right. So yeah, listen to these cougar cheerleaders down here. Looks like we get a little rebuttal here from our cheerleaders, I'm sure. The Wolverine cheerleaders in close proximity to the other cheerleaders. This is where... Old school guys yeah, like me, we got spirit. Yes, we do. Yeah, we got spirit. Yeah. How about you? When it's a big rivalry game oh, yeah. like Burnell and Burlington Edison. Yeah, they're not uh, doing one right now. Yeah. Um, well, here comes the Wolverines to the ball. Wolverines coming out on offense, forcing a punt on the first two drives. Yep. Actually, was it a punt oh, or it was a turnover four, on downs? Turnover on downs the first time, and then we've got a uh, punt on the second one. Wolverines winning the field position battle here in the second half, starting uh, the second drive almost in plus territory. All right, so the Wolverines are to the ball. Someone got their belt fixed. Dylan Roberson under center. And there's Pierce Klein in motion. Handoff to Connor Haynes right into a bunch of Seton Catholic Cougars. Uh, maybe a gain of one. Let's see where they spot they're gonna that. Give two. They're going to give them two yards there. So that's going to be second and eight on the Wolverine 44. This is where the ground and pound offense for the Wolverines, the clock moves, uh, get some points, wear down that defense, pays off later on in the game. Looks like there's a little confusion on the play there for the Wolverines. Here we go, Klein in motion. Quick snap to Connor Haynes to the right side. Kind of got through the first tackle, but then got pulled back. So looks like they're going to give him maybe two yards progress there. So now we're looking at a third and six on uh, their own 46-yard line. Just so trying I, to uh, – the, the, the Cougars were trying to strip that ball out, they of, were. out there. So. Well, and we're kind of back to, to stacking the box again. So I think maybe they got to – Maybe slip this outside a little bit, see what happens. There's room on both sides of the field. They're almost in the middle. So Wolverines are up to the ball. 
Uh, let's see, we got the wings gonna go in motion. Let's see if he moves. There he goes, Klein in motion. There's a snap, toss to Connor Haynes. He's got the far corner easily. Chris Gustin with a great block, tackled around the neck. Uh, that gets him out to the Seton Catholic's 41-yard line. So first down 12, for the Wolverines. 12-yard pickup on that play right there. The ball is down into Cougar territory at the 41-yard line. Wolverines on the move again. Clock's going to run here in just a sec. They had to set the chains. There it goes. Clock's running. So those first two uh, straight up the middle go to the outside. I, I, and I think the outside's where it's at right now. They're having a lot of success there. All right, here are the Wolverines again. Klein in motion. And fake tan. Oh, and to Gustafson up the middle. I thought that was going to Haynes. And he gets four yards, I want to say. One, two, three, four. Yeah, looks like maybe five. What are they going to spot that at? They're going to put it at a 38. Yeah. 37, rather. 37. So four-yard gain for the Wolverines. So it'll be second down and six to go. Number 88, slow to get up. Yep, so is number 60. And we're, we're starting to see hands go on the hips yep. over there. Because subs out for the Seton Catholic. 68 goes in for 60. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here are the Wolverines to the ball. Oh, no motion that time. Quick toss to Connor Haynes. He's got Chris Gustafson out with a block. Cuts back outside. Gets a few more yards on the play. Gets down to the 28. He's a little slow to get up. Walking a little ginger on that ankle there. Came down. Yeah, the. Yeah, I think he's going to have to come out. He'll be back. He might so, just run it off by the time he gets to the huddle. <laughs> First down on, on the Seton Catholic 28-yard line. I like that you're going to have to drag me off the field mentality. It, 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 that can be a good thing, but the problem is they have enough running backs. He doesn't have to be out there. So it might be good to take a few moments to collect yourself. Doesn't get a, want to get Wally pipped. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen on this team either. There's Klein in motion. And the snap, hand off to Connor Haynes. He's going right up the gut again. Maybe gets two. We'll see where they spot that one. Over, uh, see me, those officials... Uh, you got to start blowing that whistle a little bit early when forward progress stopped. That's yeah. how you get guys injured. So it looks like a gain of maybe two on the play. So it's almost to the Seton Catholic 25, 26, right in the middle, just over the 25. And Haynes goes off the field. Yeah, I bet Wiley McCutcheon's going to be in at the deep back spot. Got a timeout taken by Seton Catholic. Who took it? Maybe an official timeout. Looks like the officials are going to confer. They are conferring. We'll be conferring. Oh, more whistle. Uh, and they're talking about uh, blowing that play dead as well. Yep. They, they're, they're. That's exactly what uh, their coach was saying. You got to yeah. blow that whistle earlier. You know, you got to protect your guys. I, I certainly agree with the coach on that one, because you get a guy thrown down. And uh, the play's clearly over. They can get a penalty is what he was saying. Right, I, and I agree. I mean, it's it, as a coach, you don't want those plays run long either way if you're on offense or defense. Yeah. Because then it starts getting chippy, and, you know, it's been a very clean – very clean game. Yeah, very uh, it's, few it's not a rivalry game. They don't no. know each other. So there this hasn't been chippy. But you know, a play like that can lead to that. But good on that coach for there's Klein in motion. There's a snap, toss to Wiley McCutcheon. He's going around the edge. Uh Gustafson with a lead block. Wiley McCutcheon makes the corner, gets, I want to say to the oh, there's a flag out of bounds. I want to say they got down to about the 10. And we're See looking probably at a hit out of bounds. Uh, Wiley was pretty far out of bounds when that guy caught up to him. So if this is going to be a um, uh, hit out of bounds or unsportsmanlike, we're going to probably have a five. First and goal at the five. Yeah, first and goal at the five. We have the distance. Um, so they're telling the, the chains to stay put. They're going to work it out here. And we're just saying <laughs> it's been a clean game. Yeah. Well, um, you know. and, and so, yep. Late hit what, out of bounds. That's, that's what, what he was. said. Yep. So half a distance. So it's going to be first and goal on the five for you the Wolverines. Drop, you can drop the chains, put the down yep. marker in Just there. The down marker. And it's first and goal, Wolverines. Uh, 3.47 to go. Wolverines tied <laughs> with Seton Catholic. Is. It's way back on the 25. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're going to get up and like, uh, oh, we're going to run to the line. <laughs> <laughs> Delay of game because Friday Harbor had to get up to the line of scrimmage. All right, so the Wolverines are on the line. No motion, straight snap for Wiley McCutcheon. He cuts inside and gets stuffed. Keeps on his feet, though, and it's forward progress. Didn't get very anywhere. I think he lost maybe four on the play. Yeah, no, lost. it's not way back there. It's a loss of. That one line, that side judge has him way back on the 12. There's no way he's that far back. And one of them has him there at the we nine. Go. That's a little more realistic. <laughs> All right, so loss of four on the play. And Second again, goal. and again, for those of you listening in, in Vancouver, this is a Friday Harbor produced show, so we might be a little bit on the Friday Harbor Homer side. There's Klein in motion. Snap, handoff to McCutcheon, right up the middle, right into a couple of Cougars there. So I think he got back to the five yard line. So we're going to look at third and goal from the five yard line. So if the down box can get his stuff in the right spot. There he goes. So we're stacked all over here on the far side of the field. I'm thinking an outside run the other way. Stretch the field out. See what you can do with that five yards, right? You only have to get five to get a touchdown here. Wolverines to the ball. Got Klein at the wing back. McCutcheon at the deep back. Gustafson fullback. Klein in motion. Here comes the counter play. Oh, that one's in a counter. It's a quick pass to Pierce Klein for the touchdown. Hey, hey, don't be taunting there. Careful now. <laughs> Great play by uh, uh, Pierce Klein there. Nice little uh, out, outside route there. Easy touchdown. Pound the rock, pound the rock, pound the rock. Speed pass. <laughs> and they do that. Wolverines trailed 18 7. At one point, the Wolverines now have a 24-18 lead, 219 to go in the third quarter. Wolverines have scored at this point uh, 17 unanswered points. Well, here's Victor out for the extra point. So I think this is a smart move because we know that they're struggling kicking the ball and they've got to go for two. Ooh, got uh, a piece of it, but it's good. Ooh, it's off, the, off the soccer goalpost. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, okay. it, hit, it, hit the, it hit the soccer goalpost behind. <laughs> well, anyway, the Wolverines now take a seven-point lead, 25-18, here in uh, against Seton Catholic. Uh, John, if you could have scripted the start to the second half, um, actually, excuse me, the, the final drive for the Wolverines in the first half and how you start out in the second half, that is 18 points in a row by the Wolverines. And that's exactly what you want to finish the half strong and come out and keep playing the same way. So and, that was exactly perfect. And how big is uh, Vasquez's leg, yeah, Velasquez? Yeah, for that field goal. Yeah. That was huge. I yeah. mean, I think that, that was a... I think that was the positive momentum turner for the team there, was getting those three. I mean, it seems silly because you're still losing. You got the three points. But and, the, and the two pass plays yeah. have led directly two points. Yeah. This this one over here and that big one there. Right on the drive for the field goal. Yeah. yeah exactly. So uh, the Wolverines have been known to, uh, you know, be ground and pound, but, but they've they taken to the air. Well, and that's a great little play there, there because, because it still looks, looks like they're, they're going to run the ball. Right, because right? you, 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 you went from the non you went from motion to non-motion. Motion. And all he did was just sneak out a little bit. I mean, it was, it was there because, because they were looking inside, inside run the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's, that's, that's the, the ground and pound that sets up uh, that, that play right there. there. Wolverines with a 25-18 lead with 2.18 to go. We have kickoff coming up. Looks oh, like the Wolverines are ready. Looks like the officials are ready. Here's the whistle. Velasquez with the kickoff. There we go, a nice little poocher again. They're liking that side of the field for some reason. He bobbled the catch, got away from the Wolverines though. He's running the ball back up, got back up to the 43, I think they're gonna mark it on. Varying so, those kickoffs, but they found the guy that had the hands, had the legs. Yeah, he had both. Yeah, well, that was that, missed that first tackle too. They made the first tackle, that's back there on the 30, so. So this could be first and 10 for Seton Catholic on the 43. Um, a little discussion there. Someone's got a cut on their arm. The officials saying go get that taken care of. Saw that football fly out of there. I thought it was oh, a flag, no. a late no. flag. I was like, no, what? He's got, so 23 had a cut on his arm, and the officials sent him out. So they had to sub him out. Is that the quarter? No, that's, not the quarter. no, that's one of the running backs. Or the I think it's the running back. 
All right, so the uh, Seton Catholic's up to the ball. They're going to run trips on our side, single receiver on the far side. There's a snap. Oh, bobbled the snap. He's kind of roll out, and he's looking for somewhere to go with the ball, and oh, it's caught. Wow, that was a good catch against uh, Jackson Waldron. Excellent catch. Good coverage, though. I mean, I don't think he could have been in a better position. A completely Just broken play. Nice job. Uh, by their quarterback to uh, maintain his composure, break outside uh, the containment up through the middle and complete that pass. Uh, really, Wolverines did everything right on that play. Uh, you know, just a broken play where they were able to make a, a first down. Brings up first and 10 at the Wolverines' 44-yard line. All right, so Seton Catholic up on the ball. They're going to run trips on the far side, single receiver on our side. Uh, pistol set. Oh, that's two men in motion at the same time. You're allowed to do that anymore? Hmm. Here's the snap. Quarterback looks back, goes to pass, and it is broken up by Jeffrey. No, that's Chris Gustafson broke the ball up. Close to an interception there. I think he didn't get enough hand on it, but he did block the pass. So that's going to bring up uh, second, second down and 10. and 10 on the Wolverine 44. And you know, that's just good straight coverage by the Wolverines. Well, he was in the right spot there. That was yeah. a good spot to be in. Taking away the run and can defend the pass. All right, so we're running trips on our side. Single receiver on the far side, and he's way on the far side. There's a snap, and it's a inside. Oh, faked inside handoff. He's moving outside with the ball. He's in Wolverines in pursuit. Oh, and he breaks the tackles. I think one of the Wolverines knocked down their own player. And they got out to the 27, 28, yeah. 29. <laughs> uh, a good 17-yard pickup right there on a, a good misdirection. Uh, the Wolverines thought it was going one way, is going the other way. I think that's counter you were talking about yeah. earlier, get the motion. Well, I think they ended up uh, tackling each other was what the Wolverines did, and then they got that extra yardage. So we get first and 10 for Seton Catholic on the Wolverines' 28. Wolverines now with a 25-18 lead. Rattling off 18 points in a row. So we got uh, trips to our side wide and a single receiver on the far side. He's looking at his wristband, making sure they got the right play, I guess. And here's the snap. And he's dropping back the pass. He's rolling to the trip side, throws it over one of our players. We easily miss a tackle. And Dylan Roberson makes a tackle on the four yard line. So, bad, blown coverage and a bad tackle, and it's like Seton Catholic's getting back in the game here. The Wolverines need to tighten down on defense a little bit. Breaking out, breaking out every single part of the playbook. It's Wolverines like a are going to take Wolverine a timeout. timeout. Right? Yeah, there was, I mean, that, that play there was easily stopped. They just missed tackles, so probably have a little conversation about that. 108 to go in the third quarter. The Cougars have the ball at the Wolverine five-yard line, first and goal. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center by Island Petroleum Services, the Star Station Acceptance, Blade Restoration, Pacific Rim Station, Miller Drywall, Samuel Serving, Friday Harbor Lake, Haley's Bar, and Grill. And um, at John, the Wolverines went into the break trailing 18-10. They now have a 15-point, excuse me, uh, an 8-point lead. <laughs> Bragging about my Ferndale education <laughs> earlier. Um, but anyway, the, the Wolverines come out here in the second half, and we're going to see how they can respond to this right here as they get ready to. Well, this is a bend, not break scenario. So we'll see what they can do. All right, Seton Catholic up to the ball. they got trips left. Uh, one receiver on the right. And here comes the snap. Uh, rolling left. They're in pursuit of the quarterback. He's going to try to cut in and get the touchdown, and he does get in the end zone. So uh, uh, a response touchdown by Seton Catholic from our last touchdown. So that's going to make it 25-24. Uh, and we have not seen kicking for extra points from Seton Catholic, so we're going to assume they're going to go for two here. A punch and then a counter punch by Seton Catholic. 
All right, they're coming to the line. They've got trips on the right, one receiver on the left. And here we go. Let's see if the defense can make a stop here and keep a one-point lead. Oh, man in motion on the right side. And the running back switches up the line, so full spread. Here's the snap. He's looking at the corner of the end zone. Oh, just got in there before the corner got to it. So playing a little deep on the corner, and they snuck the ball in there. 20, the Wolverines now trail 26-25, 102 to go in the third quarter. That is the first two-point conversion uh, by Seton Catholic. But I like that the Wolverines have a field goal game. Yes, okay. that, it's, that it's, could it's, be the difference here tonight, too. Yeah, it's, it's a, um, you know, the Wolverines had a two-point conversion. Uh, they've had a field goal. Those are, uh, you know, those are positives. I think they've done everything that they need to. We'll see with the Wolverines how they can respond uh, here after now trailing again. Wolverine Sports on Friday, Harper Tiny TV is presented by Banner Bank. Uh, excuse me, uh, by <laughs> Browns Home Center, Center, the Adams only full service building supply center, center by Banner, Banner Bank, Bank Blade Resurrection. Resurrection. Com. Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance, and the Tampa Bay Agency, American Booster, Friday Harbor Ministry. One or two to go in the third quarter. The Wolverines trail. Seton Catholic, 26-25. The Catholic have just, excuse me, the Cougars have just scored. It will kick off to the Wolverines. See what the Wolverines do on their kick coverage. It's still pretty deep, considering they've kicked on side every time. All right, here comes the kick, and it's a squibber. Uh-oh, get on that thing. There we go. Yeah, I still think I'd run four guys in that second line. And the Wolverines will start their drive at their own 41-yard line. That's where it looks like the official down here. One minute to go in the third quarter. So the Wolverines break the huddle. Jackson Waldron at wide receiver. It's like Pierce Klein at the wing back. Chris Gustafson at fullback. And it's like that's like Connor Haynes back in at, at the deep back. Oh, and we got a whistle. Broke the huddle <laughs> with uh, 12 men. Are there 12 out there? Well, they oh, the defense has too many guys. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the offense. I'm, like, I'm counting 11. What are you talking about? <laughs> That'll so that'll be a five-yard penalty on uh, Seton Catholic, so it's going to move the ball that to changes, the... That changes the play call just a little bit, John, with I don't know, first and first, five. First down, I don't know if it changes it too much, but... Uh, a little bit. But they're not... The Wolverines didn't yeah, even didn't change re, the play. They, they didn't, didn't re-huddle. They're going for it. Oh, now we're going to have a little discussion. So Dylan makes a comment to Chris Gustafson, and then we're back set up. And here's Klein in motion. Here's an inside handoff to Connor. Connor digs it outside. Oh, no, that's Wiley McCutcheon. Sorry. He breaks his first tackle, cuts back inside, gets some more yardage, gets almost to the 40. Where are we at here? Oh, just past the 40. So I think he's down to Seton Catholic's 39-yard line. And I hope you at home enjoy that camera view. That is the beauty of the crow's nest. <laughs> you get that because, nice shot. Yeah, because, I mean, it felt like I was right in on that play right there. Um, so, you know, uh, sometimes we are far away from the field, but, I mean, we're bringing you this coverage on Friday Harbor Tiny TV right into <laughs> your living room. I know that the Wilson family, uh, they're watching this on their big screen TV. <laughs> All right, here comes the Wolverines. He got the ball. Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Toss to Wiley McCutcheon. They're going outside with it. Gustafson making a block. Kind of making a block. And there's a big tackle tossing Wiley McCutcheon out of bounds. He's going to be slow and to get And he's probably going to be a yard short of the first down. I think they had him at the 29 there. And here's where your depth at running back comes into play because he's slow to get up. Yeah, they'll rotate. They got a couple guys to rotate around there. So we'll see what happens. He's down. Yeah, he is down. That's fine. We're doing great. All right, so they're going to take a look at Wiley over there on the sideline, and I'm assuming they're going to run Connor Haynes back in, but we'll see where we end up there. I think he probably just got the wind knocked out of him. He hit the ground pretty flat. Up, 
So he's up. He's going to. He has to come off for one play. Rub, rub some dirt on it. They're going to send uh, 84 in there. I'm not quite sure who that is. He, he's not sure of the play either, so. I think, well, he's taking the play in, I think. I'm not sure where he's going to slot in on the on the Eight, line there. 84, that's a good number. It is a good number, but he has, I think that we haven't seen him yet in this game. Is that your number? <laughs> All right, so the Wolverines break the huddle. And he, he makes 84 look good, though. 84 went in at tight end, uh, so they moved 10. Is that 10 at the fullback position? Klein in motion. Hand off to Gustafson, turns, spins, turns, scoots forward, gets to just inside the 20 for a first down. Spinning his way, uh, you, you put him on that spin cycle. Man, we, we need to get a, a, a laundry sponsor if he keeps doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so the substitution for the Wolverines, um, Nathan Posenjack came in at the uh, at the fullback position. They moved Chris Gustafson back to the deep back. And uh, Pierce Klein is still at the wingback position. And they have I, have they given it to uh, Klein once? Uh, yeah, he's had a, well, he had that touchdown in the pass. On the run, I'm not sure he's touched the ball. Here's the snap. Dread to Gustafson. Quarter's over. He's churning his legs and gets to the, what do you want to say, the 16-yard there, line you're there. You're going to put him at 16. So that's the end of the quarter. Uh, Seton Catholic, 26. Friday Harbor, 25. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Brown's Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, by Banner Blank, B Blanner Blank, <laughs> by Banner Bank, Blade Restor. I'm going to have to change those, get those Bs out of there. <laughs> BladeResurrection.com, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Serving, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services. Uh, the Wolverines go into the half trailing by eight. They trail by one um, here to start the fourth quarter. But I like where the Wolverines are going with the ball right here. They're going to go from one end of the field to the other. They finally have the chain gang together. Um, but as far as, uh, you know, being able to punch their way out of the corner, uh, some field position problems for the Wolverines early on in the game. They were able to overcome uh, some of that. And now, you know, they're, they're in the driver's seat on this drive right here. Chris Gustafson with a couple of big carries. And the Wolverines now have... Uh, second and six at the Cougar 16. Wait, not 16. Yeah, it is the 16 yard line. So Wolverines in the red zone. And it looks like we've uh, moved guys around again a little bit. I'm trying to see where they put put people back in. Um, those alarms going off. So I think we've got Gustafson and McCutcheon's back in there along with Klein for the running backs. They've moved Nathan Posenjack back to tight end. We're still discussing our play here, which we I hope we had ironed out on the sideline in the quarter. All right, so they're ready for the ball here. Dylan's under center. He moves Klein in motion. Here's a snap. Hand off to McCutcheon. He goes up the gut and gets... It's, it's, I'm assuming it's a pack of cougars then, right? <laughs> gets met by a pack of cougars. Um, it gets just over the 15. Pride. Pride. Well, pride would be lions. Are cougars pride too? Uh, they're, they're felines. They're not all prides though. Uh. <laughs> they <laughs> hey, could be. Hey, I, I don't know. Uh, um, we got any wazoo people A litter? A litter? <laughs> a litter of cougars. That's a good wazoo joke there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the client's in motion. Here's the snap. Hand off to Gustafson. He gets tackled pretty quick. Someone lost a shoe, and we're up to the 10-yard line, so we're really close to the first down. Going to bring a fourth and one. Yeah, I think they're going to mark him just short there. And it was a Wolverine that lost his shoe, so he's going to probably have to come out, and they're going to have to sub in someone else. 
So that was uh, that was Jack Mason that's going out. On fourth and uh, fourth and one. Yeah, I, I think call Brock's, timeout. Brock's taking the timeout. We're going to fix that shoe right now. There you go. On fourth yeah. and one, you got Mason going out. Yeah, he's kind of the dominant force there on the line, so that's probably a smart idea. Yeah, I was just going to say. Wolverine Sports on Friday, Harper Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Friday Harper Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, Blade Resurrection, Dot com, Star Excavation and Septic, and Island Petroleum Services. Without all of these great sponsors, you don't get to stay home and watch this game for free. You're spending hours on the ferry. You're spending money on the ferry. Uh, you're able to stay home, get a, you know, work from home uh, these days, but you're able to stay home. And um, so make sure that you drop by and thank all of our sponsors, partake of their services uh, they work hard uh, for their money. They appreciate your business. Uh, All right, so the Wolverines are back up to the line again. Dylan Roberson in her center. We've got Klein at the wing, Gustafson at the fullback position, and McCutcheon at the tailback. And here's the pitch to McCutcheon. Bad, some bad blocking there, but looks like he's going to get the first down. I think he got up to about the eight or the seven. Uh, let's see where they Pushed spot that at. out of bounds at, at the eight, eight. Yard I think it's line. the eight-yard line. First and goal at the eight. We are in the fourth quarter. Wolverines trail Seton Catholic 26 uh, 25. Strategy, John, do you go for two? Do you kick the extra point? Well, we, let's, uh, let's just get the touchdown first. Yeah, I think let's, let's see what happens with that. I'm still, it's still 11 minutes in this game, and I'm not sure I would go for two yet, but we'll see. John being very noncommittal there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Klein went across in motion, and it's an inside handoff to Gustafson. They're ripping and pulling his jersey, and I think he got up to about the four, yeah. dragging a bunch of Cougars along with him. Well, maybe they're going to they're gonna mark it on the five, it looks like. I guess you can't fall forward, huh? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that's that's a big body to bring down. Yeah, but he's falling forward, and you're not down until your knee touches, right, unless they call for progress, which they might have done that. All right, so here's the Wolverines. They're second in goal on the five. Got the wide receiver on the short side of the field. And there's Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Toss to Wiley McCutcheon. He's going to go all the way to the corner of the pylon for a touchdown. Nice run. Good use of the long side of the field there, right? And he didn't even uh, really no. head for the pylon. It <laughs> was so cleanly blocked. Uh, you know, I could have made it in there. Well, that's what I mean. That's that's using your field position to your advantage. So they were crammed the way over on that far hash. They just used up the whole field on a nice, easy run. All you got to make sure is nobody blocked in the back or held anybody. And the way that it's looking, like I think they're the going Wolverines for two. Are going for two. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it kind of it does give you that extra cushion. So we'll see what the Wolverines pull out of their hat here. So they're set right in the middle of the field. And here goes Klein in motion. Here's a snap. Handoff to McCutcheon. He's following a group, and I don't know if he got in. They're saying no, he did not get in. He kind of, instead of falling forward, he fell a little more sideways. I think he was just short of the line. Comes up limping. He's, uh, he's had the he's limp been now. Punished. He's had that limp since he got yeah. hit out of bounds. So he's, he's been punished here throughout the game, and... And he, he's a, a good, hard-nosed Friday Harbor kid. and So we're down to Wolverines 31, Seton Catholic 26, with 10 minutes and 6 seconds to go in the fourth. Wolverines retake the lead. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center. Lemon Computers, Friday Harbor Dentistry, American Legion, Friday Har Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency. And, John, we'll get to our, um, our Purple and Gold Booster Club uh, player of the game, but time to start thinking about uh, about it right now when we get to our KnifeRestoration.com post-game show. Well, it looks like we got a couple of sore guys over there. Connor, We haven't seen Connor Haynes now in a quarter, so I'm assuming uh, since he went down over here on that tackle on the 30, so he must tweak something in, uh, and he has because he hasn't been back around the ball since then. He was he was he was kind of my leading choice there, but then he came out of the game, and now we got to think about something else. 
Oh, uh, Dylan Roberson has to have a pretty sick QBR. <laughs> you know, only four passes <laughs> and three completions and a touchdown? Uh, yeah. All right, here are the Wolverines for their kickoff. And it's a nice high ball. It's going to be down to almost the Seton Catholic 10, where it's taken there right up the middle. Good blocking. Uh, got the tackle here on the Seton Catholic 37, it looks like. Uh, it was Tate Geyser and someone else was in there. Oh, it's Cody Anderson again. Look at that, number 21. And the, the kicking it deep, um, you know, I haven't seen the same kick out of uh, Velasquez. He's been kind of mixing it up. Yeah, and I think that one was probably the what well, looked the best, like your classic kickoff kick. It's not the one I want to see because he was back there, had a nice time to receive it, and lots of room to run up. Yeah, Wolverines could have had him around the 25, got eight yards after contact. So we got trips left, receiver to the far side for uh, Seton Catholic Air. Here's the snap, quick pass, and he gets a good yardage. a good block down there too. Uh, looks like he's going to be down at the Wolverine 41. Big yardage on that play. Good blocking by Seton Catholic. So a 20-yard, about a 20-yard pickup. On first down, brings up first and 10. 9.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Wolverines up 31-26. Uh, John, are we in four down territory now? For Seton Catholic, I think so. So we've got uh, Trips right, uh, receiver on our close side, just one, and they're in the pistol again. Here's the snap, and he drops back the pass. He's looking, he's rolling toward us. The, oh, we almost got him there. He's out at the 40 by Tate Geyser, shoved them out of bounds. So that's going to be a gain of one yard on the play. So that's going to bring up second down and nine for Seton Catholic. Oh, they gave him two yards on the play. Second down and eight. And when he's going to his left, He's not as effective as he is going. Well, I think to he has to throw. Right. He's got to throw across his body. I think that's where you're going to see him run the ball. But we, we've seen, uh, yeah, we've seen a lot of big gainers yeah. going to his right when he's scrambling. All right, so we got trips right. No, we're going to go full spread. Well, not full spread. Spread offense with a pistol formation. We'll see if they motion up the running back. They don't. Here's the snap. He's looking back to screen and decent coverage by the Wolverines and woohoo! Got lucky there. Uh, McCutcheon was just a little late on the coverage, but the pass was a little long to try to get it over him and incomplete pass. And so we, talk, we talked about that zone right there. Had uh, every quadrant covered except for that one. Um, and a, 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 uh, a pass that could have been caught for a, a first down right there. Well, we're third and eight on uh, the Wolverines 39-yard line. See, Catholic's going to come out of the huddle here in just a sec. So we're running spread again in the pistol formation. Here's the snap. He's rolling right. He's looking downfield. And he th throws it up right between four Wolverine players, and that's going to be a touchdown. That is a 39-yard strike. Their first one of the game was a 31-yard touchdown pass. 9.05 to go. The punch, the counter punch, and then the counter to the counter punch. <laughs> uh, the, the Cougars take a 32-31 lead. They are going to go for two, no doubt. That Wolverines, makes it a three-point game. Yep. Wolverines will have the opportunity to send it in overtime. Uh, if, if they need to on a uh, field goal. So we'll see just how the scoreboard plays out. Uh, interesting strategy by both teams. Well, here's the two-point conversion for Seton Catholic. Their trips are right, and it's lone receiver to the other side. Quick little screen pass, and he fumbles the ball on the line. So why are they going to rule that? Are they going to rule that a no point? Yep, that's no good. So the Wolverines hold them. It's only a one-point lead right now, so that was pretty fortuitous. So my talking point of uh, being down three uh, is a moot point, but yep. a field goal then well, wins if, the game. They, if they can put together a nine-minute, four-second drive that ends in a field goal, uh, that would be ideal Wolverines. Trail 32-31 to the Seton Catholic Cougars. 
from Vancouver here at Woolsey Stadium at King's High School. That's a mouthful, John. You're welcome that you didn't have to say it. <laughs> That's a whole bunch there. Uh, Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, by Purple and Gold Booster Club, Farmers Insurance and the Ten Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Industry, London Computers, Haley Bar and Grill. And, uh, and John, 32-31, um, you saw that the Wolverines put 63 on LeConnor. Um, you saw that that Seton Catholic, they gave up 72 yep. in their loss. Shows that you just really know what is going to happen because you're thinking yeah, Wolverines, Wolverines power run game. game. Uh, that well, is not. It's evidenced by the team that Seton Catholic is a passing team. Yeah. And up till now, the Wolverines defense has done a good job. That was a broken coverage play there. And they took advantage of it and got the score. So here's Seton Catholic to kick off. They had four passing touchdowns in their last two games. Seton Hall did. Or Seton Catholic. Seton Catholic they had five. They had four in the last game and one in the game before that. And their first game of the season, they had four in that. Oh, so that's what it was. They, have, they, have, they do pass a lot for, for scores. So 10 coming into the game. All right, so here's the kickoff. Supposedly. Well, now the, now the refs are out. There's the whistle. And we'll, oh, actually kicked it away. Look at that, deep kick. And that's Wiley McCutcheon receiving the ball. He's running up the field, does tries to do a cut, and gets full-on stood up. <laughs> That is the textbook not to do on a kickoff. Run right at the opponent? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so that's going to be the Wolverine ball. Looks like I think the 22 is where the side judge is marking it. The other side judge marks it at the 23. So we'll have a little discussion about the side judging, and I think we're going to settle on the 23, it looks like. And the Wolverines trail 32-31. <coughs> 6 remaining in the fourth quarter, and John... If the Wolverines can string together a pretty long drive, um, you know, the, the field position actually could work into Yeah, it favor. could. I mean, they were looking at eight minutes left. Um, we'll see what they can string together here. So here the Wolverines come to the line. Uh, looks like uh, Klein, Gustafson, and is that Haynes back in there? It is Haynes. But I think that was Gustafson with the ball. He's up to the... 33, maybe the 34. I, think that's, the, the I believe that's the 20... Oh, correct. Seven. Again, we have uh, differing opinions from our, our linesmen. One marks a head yard ahead than the other. So it's going to be on the 27. So that's going to be second and six. Here's the Wolverines up to the ball. Roberson under center. You can hear the defense implore, or the sideline imploring here's, their defense. Here's Klein in motion. Here's the snap, ball to Connor Haynes. He runs right into some Cougars. Uh, maybe a gain of one on the play. It wasn't very much. And, and we're still going past the whistle. So Connor Haynes is exasperated by being thrown down way after the whistle. <laughs> and you hear. <laughs> we can always hear Plummer. <laughs> 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 he doesn't need a headset to talk to the booth. No, he does not. <laughs> All right, so here comes the Wolverines. They're third down and six. And we're going to have motion. No motion. Go right to the play. Pitch to Connor Haynes on the far side. Breaks the tackle. Is really close to the first down. It really depends where they spotted him down. Looks like they're going to give him the first down. Yard over for the first down. 7.32 remaining in the fourth quarter. All right, so there's the first down for the Wolverines. They're going on their own 34-yard line. And they're up to the ball and ready to rock, and they haven't even set the ball yet. Here we go. All right, Roberson under center. No motion from Klein. Here's the handoff to Connor Haynes. It's coming on to our side. Tackle around the neck to the 39-yard line. A couple of high tackles I've seen in this game. Five-yard pickup. I'll tell you what, try tackling Chris Gustafson. <laughs> around the neck. <laughs> around know. the neck. He would carry you down the field if you <laughs> do that. <laughs> uh, six 
Six one two twenty. No, he's more. He's gonna be more than two twenty. Is he? <laughs> hey, he's a big dude. He's right. he's Earl Campbell. We're looking at second and a long five. It looks like. There comes the snap. Klein in motion. And hand off the cuffs to send up the gut. He breaks a couple tackles and is close to the first down. They're going to give him it. Well, yeah. it's depending like a, on which guy. It's the see, It depends <laughs> on which side judge you're looking at. One signaling first down, one signaling third down. So they're going to move the chains. They're giving the first down. All right. 626 to so go. Wolverines are on their own 44, first and 10 to go. Wolverines have already burned off two and a half minutes on this drive. Wolverines to the line, Roberson under center. No motion, there's motion from Klein, and here's the snap, oh, it's fumbled. Looks like the Wolverines got it back. Roberson on top. That's the first time that I can recall the Wolverines really on a play putting the ball on the ground. They recover that one. We talked about ball security in our Farmers Insurance and Tamacon Cotton Agency. Kayla's keys to the game, and that was the uh, probably the biggest play of the game right there. It yeah. could have been a disaster. Catastrophic, yeah. So we lost a yard on the play. Well, I guess they didn't really didn't mark it off. So Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Toss to Connor Haynes. He's coming around the corner. He cuts inside. He gets to the line. He's going to the races. He's got one guy to beat. He's hustling as hard as he can, and he's got it. Looks clean. I don't see any flags on the field. So there's a touchdown Wolverines. Kind of awesome to get a touchdown, but you left five and a half minutes on the board. <laughs> we talked about uh, burning nine minutes and yeah. four seconds. That's not going to happen. Uh, you know, they burned a, a good bit of the clock. So we're going to see how the Wolverines address that with the uh, ensuing kickoff. Wolverines take, take a 37-32. Well, I think at this lead. point you got to go for two. Yeah. I mean, one point they can still win on the touchdown, so. But it does require them to put the ball into the end zone. This is correct. All right, so the Wolverines are up to the line. Roberson under center. There goes Klein in motion. He reverses. It's going to be a pass to Klein. He's going to, oh, he stopped up, but he did make it in. Excellent job on the two-point conversion. Fortunately, the Cougars tackled him into the end zone. That makes it a little easier. We talked about uh, Dylan Roberson's QBR. Now, that won't go into. No, no, two-point conversion doesn't <laughs> add to that. It won't. But he's thrown for two scores. Yes. Uh, a touchdown and a two-point conversion. That was excellent. So, excellent play. You know, the, the Wolverines, we talk ground and pound, but the the two-point conversion makes it a um, a, a full touchdown. Right. It, makes it, it, so it forces them to either go for two to win or a kick to tie, and we've seen that they can't kick. Yeah. So we're going to be left with them trying to go for two. So it's going to be uh, interesting to watch how uh, how things play out. We're going to try to brighten the screen. It is starting to uh, – yeah, we the have sun's, the lights. sun's down. So. Yeah, we have the lights coming on here. Um, we can hardly see the watchful oh, it's right uh, there. night up there. <laughs> I wonder if it lights up. I, I told you, I bet there's a spotlight on it. Yeah, but uh, night is falling here at, at Woolsey Stadium at Knights High School Wolverines with a 39-32 uh, lead over Seton Catholic of Vancouver. Teeing up the ball is Velasquez and uh, Wolverines – it's going to be interesting to see what their strategy is well, on this kickoff. Well, anything but kick it right down the middle. That's the, the one thing I don't want to see here. I mean, they they, kick, they return that other kick down the middle really well, so I'd rather see them work the sides like they were doing before or just squib the thing. I mean, if you kick it deep, you got to really plaster the ball. Yep, there you go, a little squibber. It's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Uh, oh, oh, broken. Oh, there's a good tackle. Who was that? That was Pierce Klein. Great open field tackle on the kick return. So that puts uh, Seton Catholic on their own 48. They're in so business. good solid return on that squib kick. And I, that, that guy seems like they know where the Wolverines are going to kick because the last two he's returned. Yes. And it's been two different spots on the field. 
Wolverines looking to defend at 52 yards of real estate with 519 to go. Are we short a guy here on the Wolverines? We got 11 out there? Looks like 10. Uh, so they fake the reverse. He's going the other way. Guffs is in in pursuit. And a little out, out of the field stuff there, but it looks like they're going to be okay with that. Wolverines may want to do a body count because I was 3-4-3. Uh, three, three. Yeah, so they've got there. I think we're getting our – so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, there's 11 there now. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I counted three on the line, four linebackers, three defensive backs. Yeah. So one yard pickup brings up second and nine. Five thirteen remaining in the fourth quarter. So they're running trips to our side, single receiver to the far side. Here's the snap. There's legal motion again. Uh, they're coming around this side. He cuts back in. There's a fumble, and right on top of it is Nathan Posenjack. Good fumble recovery for the Wolverines. This could seal the game for them. We talked about winning the turnover battle. Wolverines come away with the ball. That is our final. Kayla's keys to the game is winning the turnover battle. And that is usually one of the biggest indicators of uh, winning the game. Wolverines take over at their own 38 yard line. And John, script this for us. Um, well, be smart, hold on to the ball. That's to be the biggest thing. Do not turn this ball over. Keep running the way they're running because the inside running is getting yardage. But be I, really smart with this ball because they cannot turn it over. And I couldn't see who punched that out. But the Wolverines, Bozenjak comes away with the ball. All right, here's the Wolverines, the snap. Klein in motion. Hand off to Connor Haynes who gets immediately hit in the backfield. So no gain on that play. Maybe even a loss a yard on the play. And I tell you what, they are stacking the box on one side. Yep, that's that outside, you, looking at that outside you, run again. You, you, yeah. And there's a really long side of the field over there. I know you like that play right there. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at uh, second and 11. Uh, clock's running. We're down to about four minutes and 40 seconds. It's charging. The light's on. All right, so the Wolverines come up to the ball. Klein at the wing back. Connor at the deep back. Gustafson at the fullback. They're going to let Roberson that. Roberson under center. We're going to let the play clock. Yeah, they're, they're waiting for the signal for the ref, I think. Oh, there's delay again. What's up with that? He didn't signal, though. Oh, that was, I'm having a hard time with that one. They're supposed to signal that you're running out of time, and they never signal. And th that's what Roberson is saying. Yeah. I agree completely. They didn't signal that the time was running out. He just threw the flag. He's supposed to signal so the quarterback knows they're running out of time. So they're going to talk about this, and they're going to talk about how much time to put back on the clock. They're going to put 11 seconds back on the clock. They're going to move it to four minutes. Wolverines with a 39-32 lead. Let's bring up second and 15. Actually, 16, but yes. But I didn't see that referee signal that it was. And that's, what, that's exactly what Roberson was pointing out yeah. to them. All right, well, here we go to the, for the play. The right in the clock. No motion from Klein. Here's a toss to Connor Haynes. He's going around the outside. Gets tackled from behind for maybe a one-yard loss. So now we're looking at uh, third and a whole bunch right now. Third and 17, I think. Clock rolls. Wolverines can get the clock to under three minutes. <laughs> Guys, we got to get this. <laughs> That's an understatement. Wolverines with a 37-32 lead here at... Woolsey Stadium at King's High School. All right, here are the Wolverines coming up to the ball. Roberson under center. No motion from Klein. Fake handoff. Looks like they're going to pass. He, Dylan's just going to keep the ball. He's going to run for that first down. 
and he, oh, he slid, slid early. early. Oh, they're going to give it to but him. But they're going to give it to him. He was early on the slide. <laughs> but they're going to give him the first down yardage. That's a huge, they're gonna mark huge him. game for the Wolverines. That was a, the play of the game um, so far. He slid a yard Wait. early. And I tell you what, for everything that we have disagreed with the refs on, <laughs> I, I will. That one's going our way. Yeah. Well, the Wolverines are coming straight up to the ball in a hurry. I think they want to get lined up so they can see when the ref signals 30 seconds or five seconds. So let's let's watch that back ref there and see if he gives him the signal. Back judge. Oh, there we go. So Wolverine's watching. Here comes the snap. Klein in motion. Here's the snap. Handoff to Haynes. He's up the middle. He's broke a tackle. He's still on his feet. It's like he's got another first down. Oh, there's a late flag at the end. I'm not sure that that looked, might have been a face mask. Uh, it was Pulled his helmet off his head, so I'm thinking a face mask. He's got to go out for a play, though. That's, I think it's a 15-yarder, and it's back there yeah. at the well, back I, end of the play. Well, I think it was they pulled his helmet off, so they're going to get at least that. So. And, and he, uh, they carried, he carried through his block, yes. and then he grabbed him by the face mask, threw him to the ground. So it's been a very clean game. It has been chippy. It's not rivalry. That is just football players being football players. Sometimes your emotions get the better of you. Uh, but right now they're discussing what the penalty, what the infraction is, if, if it's offsetting, if it's uh, late hit by the Wolverines and a helmet being ripped off. Uh, either way, it's 231. Wolverines with a seven-point lead. Really close to a first down right here on the spot. So I think that's what they're trying to decide first, if it's a first down. And then they'll tack on some yardage. Oh. <laughs> I still don't understand how that works and the why whoever made these rules decided those kind of penalties offset. Yeah. You know, so uh, that's what that's what I was thinking because he pulled he was pushing him out yeah. and then threw him down. So, you know, it's it's very uh, you know it's a fifteen so they're going to mark off the 10. No, no, they were replaying the down because of those offsetting ah, penalties. I thought they were going to mark no, off we're, the 10, we're, mark we're off we're the gonna No, we're replaying first down. Good news is that um, I think 25 seconds went, went off, off in that mess. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, no, bad, so news, the bad news is that the clock stopped for a moment, but now the 30-second clock, so it's going to be under two minutes by the time the Wolverines snap the ball. Right. We're trying to get you inside the mind of the coaches of what they're thinking right <laughs> yeah. here. Don't drop the ball. <laughs> All right, so we've got Roberson in her center. Uh, looks like Klein is not going to motion. They're handing off to Connor Haynes. He's coming around our way. He's giving a stiff arm. He got away from Oh, that's Wiley McCutcheon, sorry. He gets tackled down on the 45. I think he stayed in bounds. Where are, they, or are we signaling a clock stoppage? Yep, yep, they stopped the clock. 154. That's pretty much exactly what you didn't want to do on there. No, you uh, wanted to stay lose, in bounds. Lose a couple of yards and stop the clock. Yeah, you want to at least stay in bounds on that play so it can run down to like a minute and a half. Uh, let's give Dylan Roberson a little bit of credit on that scramble that he had uh, earlier. I think that is his first true carry. Yeah. Um, and it was, uh, I think, a 16-yard carry for a Wolverine first I, town. To be honest, I carry. thought he could have just kept running. I mean, he didn't have to. I mean, I understand why he slid, but I think he could have got more if yeah. he just ran ran around the edge. But anyway. But clock has stopped. Six of one, one and a half dozen the other. 154 in the fourth quarter. Wolverines with a 39-32 over lead over Seton Catholic. We're at second and 13 now. Roberson under center. Here comes the snap. Klein in motion. They're loading that box. And we're going to go right up the gut with Connor, and he does not get anywhere. I think we go back to the line of scrimmage. Didn't even start the clock. Clock didn't run. The clock didn't even run. The, the clock should be, there should be at least eight seconds off the clock. The clock started, should have started at 154. It should be down to about 148. 46. Yeah. That's too bad. And you can hear Friday Harbor <laughs> fans yelling it too. <laughs> I know, I know exactly who they are too. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So uh, eight seconds <laughs> did not go because one play should take about eight seconds. Yeah. And they may have put 11 seconds on the clock earlier. earlier. Should yep. have taken eight, eight seconds on the clock on that one. So this drive not going uh, too script. No, it is not. Um, you get the clock stopped you a on long, the ball going out of a bounds. A long third down right here. All right, so the Wolverines are up to the ball. Roberson under center. Looks like we got uh, Haynes at the deep back, Gustafson at fullback, Klein on the wing back. He does not motion. We got a toss to Haynes. He's going around the edge. He's got Gustafson leading the way. Looks There's like we got a holding call is going to bring this play back, though. So they ended up on the Seton, Ca yeah, Seton Catholic. 47. Uh, flag in the deep backfield, though. That usually an indication of a holding. And I'll tell you what, that took six seconds? <laughs> uh, eight, actually. Yeah, eight seconds. They're probably going to decline the penalty. I would think they're going to take the forward down. Yeah, clock's running as soon as they set the ball. That's what he wants to know. So here's the deal. For you guys at home, the coach is asking if the clock will be running if he if he declines the penalty, which it would be because it was a running play. So by him taking the penalty and letting the Wolverines replay the gown, he gets essentially a timeout because the clock's going to be stopped until the Wolverines snap the ball. So he just got himself a fourth timeout, okay, for those of you not really into football and how the whole stuff works. Normally, you would want to decline that penalty and force him to fourth down, but because of the clock stoppage, it's two Seton Catholics advantage to let the Wolverines run on the play. <laughs> and nobody is uh, on either sideline is really happy with these refs because they changed the hash mark. Well, that's where it should have been. That's the side the penalty was on. What what the Seton? Oh, here's the snap. Klein's in motion, and we're gonna pass. He's looking deep. It's up. He's got Waldron. He's got the ball. He's got a block. He's up to the Seton Catholic 46. Brings looks up like third and fourth and looks five. Looks like he might be injured. Fourth and five. Oh, he's up. He's running off the field. He's going to get his butt off the field so they don't have to use a timeout or anything. So we got a substitution for him coming in. We've got a minute and 31. And the clock should start. Well, they had to stop because of the injury. Get off the field. Can't run him off the field. I know. <laughs> so they get him off the field, they can start the clock again. See what the Wolverines have here on fourth All and right, five. So here goes the clock. Minute 30 to go. Roberson's got the play. He's running it back in. They don't have a lot of time here to play around. They need to snap the ball and not take a penalty. It is fourth down with five to go. We're down to a minute 18, and the clock is running. Uh, we're running out of time. Wolverines are coming up to the ball. Uh, we've got Graham in for, what do we do here? Oh, we're going to punt. Wolverines are punting. Here's the punt. Uh, it is deep to the 15. It takes a Seton Catholic bounce, and it gets down by Dylan Roberson on the Seton Catholic 23. 54 seconds in the fourth quarter. Kings Knights uh, game is coming up next. Uh, but first, the Wolverines. I was reading Kings Knights on there, and I was trying to bail myself out, <laughs> just, just so you know. I don't think they're playing next. <laughs> I think it's someone else. Oh, there's, there's somebody else coming up after <laughs> this game right here. Getting a little bit excited. My back is tightening up. Uh, I know. It's my, just my, bouncy, bouncy metal stuff we're standing on. Uh, this is why I got out of coaching, because my <laughs> back is so tight up here right now. All right, so out. looks like timeout Wolverines, and this might be their last one. Um, they, oh, may they have three up on the board. Yeah, the board hasn't <laughs> been right the whole night. They took one earlier for that to get uh, Jack Mason's shoe back on. Yeah. So this, I think, might be number two. And how big was that timeout with Jack Mason? Well, that was a good idea. I mean, they're one of their best linemen, and I think that was a good time to use it. Yeah, that, that is uh, a perfect time to use a timeout, um, you know, because it – produced points yes it definitely kept the drive going yeah so uh wolverines with a 39 32 lead uh 78 yards to defend 
uh, to come away to try to even their record at two and two, taking on the one A Saint Seton uh, Catholic. <laughs> Seton Catholic. Uh, I'm up there. Uh, my eyes are going. You know, it's, I've been I up since that. four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, okay? me too. It kind of blurs <laughs> on you after a while. <laughs> So, uh, All right, Wolverines. so here comes the Wolverines. They're out on the field. Uh, a couple of substitutions. We kind of got some guys with injuries throughout the game, so we're kind of on a couple of subs now on defense. So here they come in a spread, full spread set. Here's the snap. The quarterback's looking back. He's throwing a big throw high up in the air, and that was out of bounds. So that's an incomplete pass. So a good defense there by, uh, I'm not sure who was playing corner over there. Nice is that. Oh, that guy. They... I think that guy is hurt. Oh, is he all right? He's having a hard time getting up. Plumber's got him. No, he's, he got knocked, I think. And trainers nope, are he's out. Down. So, yeah. no, he, he, uh, he's down. Uh, he's hurt. We're going to have players take, so we'll a, take a little knee here. A 45 knee right seconds here. to go. It's going to be second and 10. Good thing is that play burned nine seconds. Bad thing is that um, clock, stops. clock stops. Well, it's an incomplete pass. The yeah. clock stops no matter what. Yeah, but I'm just saying that, you know, uh, they're, stay, they're way back there. Um, they've taken a timeout. I'm as honest in an injury, injury timeout. Don't know the timeout situation. Um, I'm here monitoring our battery. We, uh, we have <laughs> We're on a timeout we have on the battery. A, we, have a charge, we have it charging, but it's down to 25%. Player is up. Yeah. I think he got his bell rung, as the old saying uh, in the old days. Well, the he's, bell he's, in his right knee, it yeah, looks like. He was pretty woozy, though, too. <laughs> but uh, the way that he is. Yeah, right now it looks like knee, but I, he was pretty woozy when he got yeah. up. All right, so we're going to – it should be still a stop clock because he got it, it was a play out of bounds and incomplete pass. So we're looking at second and 10 uh, from the Seton Catholic 23. And I apologize to Seton Catholic. We do not – have a roster. There was none handed out, so we cannot tell you the player's name. He's number um, 33, though. But he is being helped off. Uh, we're gonna t we'll keep an eye on him on the bench for if his parents are watching. We'll try to give you an update. All right, so we're going spread, spread for the Seton Catholic Cougars here on second and ten. Uh, there's the whistle. We're ready to snap the ball. Here's the snap, and they're dropped back the pass. It's a quick pass, and it is deflected at the line of scrimmage. That was, who was that, 63, and I honestly don't know who that is because <laughs> we don't have a roster. Four seconds off the clock. I think 63 might be uh, Gavin uh, Garcia, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, so we're looking at third and 10 now. Uh, 41 seconds left. Wolverines up by seven. Try to show you a little bit of the sky here. Uh, the temperature has dropped uh, 10 degrees. <laughs> um, 41 seconds, Wolverines up 7, 32, 37-32. Uh, Play comes in from the sideline. Wolverines uh, in prevent defense, John? I don't think it's prevent. I think they're running their normal defense. They've they got to play the spread, so you can't play prevent too much. Otherwise, you're going to give up that underneath pass. So back to spread formation. They look out. They've got a short pass on our side, immediately met by Wolverines, and it looks like they're having a hard time getting to the ground, but it's going to be on the, th looks like the 27-yard line of Seton Catholic. So clock that's a, continues to run. That's a gain of four. Yep, the clock should be running. Why is the clock stopped? They, Did they take a timeout? timeout. They must take a timeout. But it's down to 26 seconds. Fourth down. It, they're going to put 32 seconds really? back on the clock. Put time back on, but we can't take time off, huh? That's pretty convenient. All right, so we've got uh, timeout by Seton Catholic. The ball is on their 27-yard line. Uh, it will be fourth down and six to go uh, when we come back with 32 seconds left on the clock. Uh, gorgeous sky out here oh, in Seton North Catholic's ready to rock. That wasn't a very long time out. They just use it to stop the clock. Out in North Seattle. We're in Shoreline, Washington, as the Wolverines take on Vancouver's Seton Catholic. Wolverines up 30, 39, 32 with 32 seconds, fourth and six for Seton Catholic. Wolverines looking to hold right here. 
All right, so we're back to uh, what do we got here? We got two on the far side, one on this side, two tailbacks. Um, here's they go back to throw. It's way up on our side. There's two Wolverines back, and he makes the catch but stays in bounds. So the clock's going to keep running. Oh, why is the clock stopped? Uh, oh, it's first down. First Sorry. Down. I got a little mad. Sorry. <laughs> I was getting a little fired up there. Seen quickly up under center. Well, they can't snap. It wasn't time to snap. They hadn't set the chains. Anyway, sorry, I got a little fired up there. I've been, <laughs> I've been excited, super excited about the officiating here today. All right, Seven so, seconds go off of the clock. So 25 seconds, first and 10 on the Wolverines, 44. And I don't know how you at home, how your ears are doing on that <laughs> little outburst by John. Uh, if I'd known he was going to do that, I'd pull my earphones. Oh, no, good job, John, um, on, on setting everything. 39, 32, 25 seconds. All right, so we got trips on the far side, one receiver on ours. Uh, here comes the snap. And he drops back to throw, rolls outside. There's Chris Gustafson, misses the tackle. And that's a long run down the sideline, and he gets out of bounds at the 27 yard line of Friday Harbor. 16 seconds. So that stops the clock. And turns into a nail biter, John. It's getting close, isn't it? We'll see where that eight second shakes out. Yeah. Should be eight seconds on the clock. 16 seconds on the clock as it is. QB scramble right there, moves the ball down to the 27-yard line. Well, this is sure is a long huddle. They should have been, yeah, that's way more than 30 seconds when they blew the whistle on us. He's All got right. his hand out for. So here we go. We got oh, got a false start on. There you go. That'll help. And is there a 10-second runoff? Not in high school. Seems like this game should be over right now. It, it's, that's, that's calling the. That's calling it for sure, Ken. So we're going to have a five-yard penalty. Or are they giving 10? That's a, that's a five. So we're back to the Wol Wolverines 32-yard line. We're going to set up again for first and first and 15. So here comes Seton Catholic. They got trips to our side, single receiver on the far side in the pistol formation. Here's the snap. It's a fake handoff. He's rolling our way. We got Wolverines in pursuit, and they just knock him out of bounds at the. Boy, I don't think there was any gain on the play at all. They may have lost a yard. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter because they're looking for pay dirt, but they have nine seconds to do it. Is that point nine or nine? I think that's nine. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, really. A, there's a dot up there. I don't yeah. know if it's point nine or nine. All right, so we're uh, getting close to the end here. I think they lost a yard on the play, so it's second and 16. Seton Catholic breaks their huddle. They're going uh, trips right, single receiver left. In a pistol formation. Here comes the snap. And they're rolling to the far side. The good rush by the Wolverines. It's going to be a jump ball there in the end zone, and it is incomplete. Two seconds With remain. One more shot for Seton Catholic here. They've got two seconds left. So now we're looking at third and 15. So I think they got to do the same thing and go for the end zone or do some trickery. Yeah, it's uh, do they do the, uh, the band is on the field? The triple reverse. <laughs> the band is on the field. But All right, so we're two seconds left in this game. Uh, we're on the near hash, so that's our side of the field. Uh, Seton Catholic to the ball. They're running trips on the – no, they're going spread. So they got spread in the pistol formation. Let's see if they move that running back up to be also a receiver, but he stays in the back. They're dropped back. He's looking to throw, looking to throw. Time is now up. The ball is in the air, and it is knocked down by the Wolverines. And there's no flags on the play, so I'm going to say that's going to be the end of the game. Uh, Wolverines 39, Seton Catholic 32. And uh, that is Friday Harbor football right there, John. I don't know how much more drama you could want. It goes down to the final whistle, but there was a time when it looked like the Wolverines were, were going to get boat raced, I'll be yeah. honest. Um, they tra trailed. Uh, they were putting up. It was, they had, it was uh, three touchdowns. 
uh, by Seton Catholic. Yes. Okay, and the Wolverines responded. They were down 18-10 going into the half, but they came back to win. Wolverine Sports on Friday Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center, Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Insulation, BladeRestoration.com, uh, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services, and we are into our Blade Resurrection uh, post-game, post-game show. show. And you want to talk about Resurrection, John. I want to see if we can get the Wolverines in the exchange down there on the field. Uh, going out there and slapping hands. This yeah, went, is... Yeah, they went and saw the guy on the bench. That was cool. That's some good sportsmanship there. Yeah, that's number 33 down there. The guy that went out on that uh, out of bounds, number 33. Uh, his helmet came off. They, they took his helmet away, so it could be... But his helmet is back on anyway. But it could be concussion protocol. We'll see if we can get an update. But the Wolverines come away with... Um, John, I don't want to too, be too hyperbolic here. <laughs> But um, this is a monster victory, I would say, because we're in our uh, Blade Resurrection postgame show. You want to talk about resurrection. This is a Wolverine team that couldn't hang on to the ball in their uh, against Granite, Granite Falls. Falls. Yeah. And this uh, actually reminded me a lot of that game as far as what Granite Falls was doing, throwing and, the ball. And then they, were, uh, they got those uh, three big receivers from South Whitby. But um, – but, this team right here, uh, Seton Catholic, they they had some big receivers, and the Wolverines learned from those games, and they were able to hold them in check. Yeah, exactly. And I think you know the the one long touchdown they did score was a mistake in the secondary. So I, I agree. They they learned their lessons on on playing pass defense, and it worked really well. So the Wolverines, uh, they were down. I wouldn't say big. They were down. They they had their defense had given up three touchdowns. And uh, and they responded, and the Wolverines they won the second half, and uh, they, they they came from a touchdown back, won by a touchdown. That's uh, that's a a monster victory. Yeah, that's it, a big that's a big swing. Yeah, I mean really, I mean to come, especially when you compare the style of teams that we have. We have a run dominated team versus a pass dominated team, and that's like playing basketball where one team shooting twos and one shooting threes. Right? It's hard it's hard to come back with that kind of scenario. So. Yeah. So the, the Wolverines, um, you know, we have talked about it in our pregame shows about where, uh, what mile marker they're at in the in the rebuild. Well, this this added some to it. That's oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, if 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 you know they they're on this this drive to rebuild. Um, they went into the gas station at halftime, <laughs> and um, and they came back with a full tank. Yeah, filled and, the tank up. That's for and, sure. And we, we talked about Wolverine football being able to um, play four quarters, and they were able. They've been able to sustain that throughout the season, and it's now starting to pay off in victories. I, I agree, and you know that that's a good example. They went into the halftime and they refilled the tank. Yeah, I mean that was definitely what happened. They came out. Made the stop, scored, made a stop. I mean, they, they definitely uh, came out. And, and it got a little dicey there in a couple spots. But I think overall, I mean, you saw it, you know, they had some starters go down with injury. And, and guys came off the bench and filled in. So that was definite. Yeah, and, and, and that comes from the, the LeConnor game last week yeah. where. We're going to get kicked out of here. Okay, but that comes from the <laughs> LeConnor game last week. <laughs> yeah. Ken. Can you move out of their way so they can walk up? Yeah, they're they're right behind you. <laughs> um, but you know, you you um, the the LeConner victory makes it so that they can get guys in, and it paid off tonight. Yeah. So, uh, but let's before we we end our Blade Resurrection Purple and Gold Booster Club. Who is your player of? The I'm going to say Dylan Ro- Dylan Roberson. Those those last plays were key. His run for the first down. I, I think that was that without that first down. The end of this game could have been really different. Yeah, you know, I'd like to argue with you, John, but but um, uh, the the turnover 
uh, down there where um, Posenjak was on that ball oh, yeah. quickly. That was a good That was, too. to me, the play of the game. There were a lot of other plays of the game, but that is when I think the Wolverines were able to win the turnover battle and win the game. Yeah. I, I can go for that, too. All right, Wolverine Sports on Friday. Harbor Tiny TV is presented by Browns Home Center, the island's only full-service building supply center by Banner Bank, Blade Resurrection, Purple and Gold Booster Club, Tony's Terrific Carpet Care, Farmers Insurance, and the Tammy Cotton Agency, American Legion, Friday Harbor Dentistry, Lemon Computers, Haley's Bar and Grill, Friday Harbor Electric, San Juan Surveying, Miller Drywall, Pacific Rim Installation, BladeResurrection.com, Star Excavation and Septic, Island Petroleum Services. I'm Mike Martin. He is John Volk. He is Ken Norris. The Wolverines come away with a 39-32 victory over Seton Catholic. You can rewatch this game. It is. It went down to the wire. It was, it was exciting. Everything that you could ask for. That will do it for Mike Martin on T Friday Harbor Tiny TV. Go Wolverines. There we go.